Lancaster County Board of County Commissioners meeting will come to order. The record show today is June 7th. The time is 9 o'clock a.m. I uh, wonder if I might impose upon our board clerk to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this morning. I would do that. Thank you. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. We uh, started out one of the sessions at the CCI conference with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody looked around and when the flag in sight, and an old boy finally realized he had a little pin on his lapel, so he stood up there and held One of the, ge it, uh, the guest speaker, one of the guest speakers held up on the bell. Gosh. Hmm. Yeah, but the next session, I guarantee you, there was, there was a flag? an American and Colorado flag up there. So, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate that. Would the clerk call the roll, please? Commissioner Flower. Present. Commissioner Panda. Here. Commissioner Prince. Here. Attorney Clint Smith. Present. And clerk to the board, Kelly Camper. Present. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. Miss Angie, would you like to start the introduction to the audience? Angie Arnold. Within Liquor Airport. Ron Gifford, Matt Gifford, Jackie Pavis. Very good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um, we got to amend the agenda. Yeah. Uh, amendments to the agenda? I have none. Uh, I would move that we amend the agenda by deleting the request for the vacation and replat at the airport. Item number two under new business. Okay. Is there a second? Second. I move a second to amend the agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion we'll carried. <coughs> yes, sir. Uh, you may. I said no. Can we move out the um, TV Hill subdivision discussion so these gentlemen don't have to spend the whole day with us? Uh, I think that is a great suggestion. Um, yeah, thank you. Appreciate is that in the <laughs> form of a motion, sir? I move that. Way. I'll second it as long as they don't take donuts with them. <laughs> I love that we move gotta earn your donut. <laughs> First item on new business. Donut day. It is donut day. So it's why we're on the We have to be at the next two meetings, right? It's been moved and seconded to amend the agenda by moving uh, consideration of subdivision waiver request at TV Hill subdivision to the first item under uh, new business. All in favor say aye. Aye. No, I oppose nay. Carries. Now we can hear any comments. Oh, no. all right. Approval on minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me make that change. Spent a lot of time in a courtroom, but it always amazes me how much downtime there is while the judge does whatever judges do while they're up there. And what you're doing. Else is sitting. Amazing. Checking the stock exchange. Researching the <laughs> looking through the law books, I assume. I you know. just kick judge around day two, is that what it is? That's what he is kick judge. She's calling her lawyer. We were See what stock to buy. Pretty important stuff judges do back. <laughs> Is it? Coffee, take a nap. Yeah. Yeah. Although some of them do right out on the bench. I was going to say, I'm talking about when they're on the bench. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, so that was deleted. I'm always amazed by these lawyers. I saw them come by pulling their carts with all the books. Yeah. I always had a few notes yeah. scribbled on a napkin. When I went. <laughs> that that explains feel it. inadequate a little. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Any other amendments to the agenda, gentlemen? No, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't believe we have any approval of any minutes. Can't I'm understand why, but... <laughs> Commissioner Items. Mr. Cannon, would you like to begin, please? Yeah, not, not, well, not a lot's happened, but stuff does happen. Uh, we had a pretty good meeting yesterday with the CenturyLink and uh, phone people with uh, the outage in Wetmore, as well as a discussion on the broadband uh, applications and things that they're doing. We'll wait, get them talk with 
attend and we'll get the minutes out every month minutes, but the uh, next schedule of events that will happen. Uh, went well and uh, I think you both were there uh, yesterday too. Let's see what we learned. Okay. Thanks. Anything else? No. Mr. Prince. I uh, attended the CCOM meeting and that's about all I did yesterday. Okay. Good. The only thing I have is just to remind us that, uh, that we're scheduled to do a tour of the museum today at 2 o'clock. Oh, jeez, I forgot about that. <clears throat> Anything else, John? <clears throat> okay, thank you. Uh, I don't have anything to report on Upper Arc. Anyone else? I did get the minutes on our meeting that we had as citizen meeting, and I'll send them out to everybody. Thank you. Yeah, I made a request to get those. Uh, I did get the first set of minutes. Certainly didn't get the second. But. I, I got them yesterday. Attorney item? <coughs> Nothing new. Okay. Uh, admin? No. Thank you, ma'am. Public comment? Anything that you want to bring before the board that's not on the agenda? Okay, we'll move on. Airport staff reports. Good morning, Mr. Lynn. Good morning. Welcome. Is Lynn here? <laughs> Would you take the lead on this? Uh, what? Well, sir, on whatever. <laughs> I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay. <laughs> well, Bill, or Bob always starts with his fuel report, right? Let me interrupt real okay. quick for our audience's benefit. If you don't know, Lynn Legree is the chairman of the airport advisor, or the airport board. board sorry, yeah. Yeah. We're not advising We're nobody. Not advising They're anymore. in charge. We're not in charge. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, he is uh, chairman of uh, that. Airport. So the May fuel s fuel sales were 440 gallons, which wasn't a lot. Better than the month before, I remember. Yeah. Inventory is 1,970 gallons. Fuel sales from June 1st through the 4th. This is from 110 gallons. Wow. So as the weather improves, three days or so. Three days of flying makes a difference. Absolutely. Well, the big plane came in and fueled up. One of the two, but nonetheless. Let's assume all of that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Can, so you can track, obviously, the number of sales that that would represent. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Your car yeah. here is working pretty well, huh? Yeah. So he's got here Raymond, Don, Joe, Otto, and Lynn are all interested in some building some hangars. Raymond got hangar lot three. So, so that's finalized. Yeah, here, I, I printed this up. I got to kind of follow along with that. Are these first names, I'm assuming? Yeah, yeah. And I think the whole point of this is to show that we're down to two buildable lots. Sure. Can you Nine, go through your list again then? Sorry. 19 and 11, sure. Raymond. Raymond is on lot three. Okay. Don is renting seven or eight. He says not real sure. Okay. Otto is building on lots 17 and 18. So. So that's going to leave 19. Huh. And he wanted those as they are sized, 17 and 18. Yes, because okay. he's going to put two up. One oh, to put so he didn't bail, right. he just bailed on the idea of splitting those. Yeah, and I okay. think we may have assumed, when he said he wanted two lots, we assumed that he was going to build a bigger hangar. Gotcha, but he, yeah. that's not the case. Correct. Okay. What was, how many was Raymond? What did he want? Three. Yeah. Lot three. Lot three. Lot three. Lot three. <clears throat> And then after Otto was? Um, he's on 17 and 18, so that leaves 19 and 11. Can you see those, yeah. Jay? Mm -hmm. So you kind of know where we're at. Yeah. Those are the only two left that are actually buildable. As, a, as is. As is. Can I ask, has anything ever been resolved for Tom Redmond's land out there? I think I yes. found out that the Navajo, Navajo do own that. Oh, okay. And I talked to the Navajos, and you know, they're not interested in selling it. But yeah. they're not but interested in building that idea? They might, they down may. the road. But. I'm doubting it that they might. Yeah. They may build a garage or something, you know. I'd hate to see that, use it yeah. as a hangar. So we have 18 
13, 14, and 15 on the map. Right. Are those not buildable? 13, 14, and 15 are not without a lot of fill. Okay. Someday and that's they could what we, If we want to get those leased, which I think we probably could, boom, boom. If it was, yeah. Probably ought to have, you know, in that light, since we're talking about it. Uh, yeah, it seems how we're down to those, so we, need some fill. we need some fill. So I don't know where you guys can... What's your current hanging <clears throat> space? Minus 12. 12. He's next to the end. So there's the one between me and mm -hmm. Alan that, that is 11. Mm -hmm. Is and 10. Buildable. Yeah. And then on the other side. So all of that in thought is really just... Right. Now, so I... Once our county surveyor gets out there and does his thing, then you're going to have plenty more lots to Absolutely. available. We're not out of space. We're no, not no, out no, of no. Potential. We're just lots out of we're just out of current platted, platted lots. lots that that actually have a taxiway right. access. Right. Okay. So the next step would be to get some fill and get the surveyor out there to make this right. happen, so we can start leasing those. Mm -hmm. So 17 and 18, they're under contract? Yes. And three? And three. We're just not that, sure about seven or eight yet. Right. Um, and, it, and it sounds like a lot three is going to happen pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. <clears throat> if we decide to expand the area to add additional locations, we need to put a runway in? We need to put a taxiway. Taxi yes. So yeah. Or as Bob would say, a taxi lane. Yeah. 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 Right there, here. put the yeah. next taxi lane. My question would be... We'll be right here. Uh, right, I'm with it. Yeah. Would it be less expensive to fill in the three lots that are off-grade, um, 13, 14, and 15, as opposed to building a taxiway? I'm just curious, has anybody looked at that? Which one makes more sense to do at this time? Well, I think the big expense for putting this in will be having it surveyed. Um, because the uh, we have an airport member that's got a grader, and he says he'll grade it in. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and the expense for the, uh, the survey is not going to be no, it's tremendous. Not I, I mean, I don't know about 300 bucks. So, yeah, the county yeah. survey. Uh, county survey. Right. right. Survey survey for whatever it depends on if he's used up his county dollars. Or yeah, or he may have. But that's still cheaper. Jack, you're supposed to be getting a hold of him and trying to get him out there to get that survey. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Good. Yeah. So, like good. I said, I never figured in my lifetime I'd see all that ground grabbed. I never thought there'd be as many houses with hangers out there. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. So, as that airport develops, we're going to... We'll have a green and red light flash. You someday. never know. Well... Because the little airport west of... <laughs> what else you got? I got... Some other stuff that came up yesterday um, <clears throat> that these guys were working on. Yesterday being the work day out there? Yesterday, no. Oh. Um, I just asked them where they were at with their courtesy car oh. stuff. And they said they had some stuff I could present to you okay. as a draft to okay. read through and draft on you. Yeah. And you can scribble on it, do whatever you think, and then our meeting this month, we can try to get this finalized and done and back to you cool. so we can get those cars in service. Get them all uh, signs off of them? Yeah, I, as far as I know. Any cars out there? On the boat cars. We don't have any cars out there yet, so I, I don't, I'm not sure where they are actually at. They were going to bring them out once they were completely out of follow up. Okay, I'll go by there and get it done. Another courtesy card thing? Yes. I don't. Know. You can have this one. <clears throat> Let me just glance. You can have this one. I'm, I'm gonna have it. I, um, you, you I just get cards. I just, everything you guys get, I need to keep on record. Okay, so you don't want to keep it? Well, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give her mine because I can print okay. another one. Right. That's so. Somebody's butting in. Yeah, what are we doing here? Is that what you wanted? Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys copies of your special use? Is that the old one? It's a new one. Okay, sure. 
We'll compare it with what's in the computer. They have this down the agenda. This way, and have. we don't know. Yeah. Thanks, Jen. She didn't bring one for me? Yeah. Okay. This is the same. <laughs> Thank you. Share, Len. Share. Share. <laughs> the audit plan yeah, was remembered. Yeah. So we'll deal with that later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, that's about okay. all I got, Good. guys. Well, it looks like somebody's been making some uh, progress here yeah. uh, on your vehicle Today. agreement. I see a surcharge of 20 bucks. How would that be charged? Are they going to do a credit card? I or? don't know. That was with my, one of my questions, that mm -hmm. I think when they get the car, we ought to have a space to put a credit card number. Yeah, I didn't do that. That's good so that if, you know, whatever comes up. Yeah. Yeah, but, I would agree, but yeah, obviously you can't really do the credit and the, card. And the board hasn't even thing. seen that yet, so right. we will discuss that. We, we, we'll wait, and you'll give us another draft. Yeah. I will give you another. Well, yeah, after our too much time. Good. Yeah. So I got a, a point. Uh, the uh, erosion control uh, people are at lot six today. Mm -hmm. They're coming up by the airport. And they're they're going to go out there around two probably. Okay. I don't know. They said they got a hold of Bob. Bob's aware of it, I think. Uh, yeah, Bob's in Texas right now. Well, he may be around, aware so. of it, but <laughs> not there. As much as I love you for doing what you did, let's at least do the right. <laughs> How about that? I just noticed that. But I appreciate you putting What'd you it think? They had just, they they put was, one of the attractions yeah. in town that had the wrong name. Oh. Uh, so we'll get that. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll, name, maybe we want to arrange it. That maybe it's be a better a name, name, Jay. It's That's more better. memorable. Than, uh, <laughs> everybody else knows. I'll change the name. It'd be easier to change the name. <laughs> yeah, it could be. All right. All right. Very good. Anyway, I'll so, be out there later today to meet him. Okay. Yeah, probably right. three o'clock or something. So we need I'll to get you. surveyed. Yeah, I would follow up as with Jackie on that. Can. And uh, if you want, I can certainly shoot. Kit an email on behalf of the commissioners requesting that they go out there and do that. And then uh, wherever we can find some fill um, would be great too. Put a sign up. Sign yeah, there is. It's just off the wall. Um, there is a house that was just built, brick, and he's got two giant mounds of dirt. And I asked him just out of, I was thinking of the, I was thinking of landfill. Yeah. But I mean, just as well, you get it. And I said, what are you going to do all that there? He says, I don't really know yet. So I'll work on him and see if, I mean, it's, he's got a, it's a lot of dirt. These guys excavate be great. basements and stuff. I'll see if we can do it. I'll tell them. Okay. We won't even charge him to cart it off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. all right. Is it close to the airport? That's actually downtown. It's on oh. Fifth Street. Oh. Maybe um, yeah, Fifth Street. Yeah, it's too bad we didn't think about that when we were doing the airport. Widening project, they could yeah, have gonna save some. I should have thrown some over there. It was dumb not to think. Well, I well, there's still a chance, by that, the way, boys. Uh, that apron and the uh, still has to be excavated. There's going to be some dirt coming out of there that's going to need to be spread or something. Okay, that's what I was saying. Where and Too bad we didn't haul run four or five scraper loads down there while we were doing it. It'd probably be but done, wouldn't it? The scraper loads, it'd probably be done. Probably right. Because I don't know how much it would take, but. Also working on that tourism grant for the tourism board. I don't know when I have to have that in, but um, you're working with the board, though. Yeah. Um, fly in or what is August twenty fourth? Air Fest, we're calling it because we're going to try to include a lot more folks than just those that fly in. So yeah, get a picnic out there. Yeah. Do you have a um, pilot school out there no. organized one. I know there are several pilots that are instructors. Just it would no, it'd be a great thing to have. Yeah. At, at least even just a ground school in our building there. You start got the right location. Yes. Jackal would have stuck around, you might have put one in there. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Well done. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. When would you like us to so your get back to you with this? Our um, we'll we'll do our meeting the third Thursday. Okay. So and scribble on it and do whatever we need to do, and then I'll get back, get another copy back to you. 
if you want to scribble on it and give it back to one of us before that third Thursday. Sounds good. Then we can. Bill, is that something you want to handle or do you want to pass it off to one of us? Send it in separately. It says okay. low supper. Or we can, you can send me what your thoughts are. I'll add mine. I think we have some spelling to fix. Yeah. <laughs> Should we all That's his personal idea. Yeah. 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 Let's just send them our separate <laughs> copies easier. Okay. Uh, so what you'll we'll look at back to you. You get we'll, comments. We'll all three make a little comments and then we'll combine we'll them and we'll them. get them back to you. Then send great. us out your draft and then we'll comment on that. And, uh, we'll we then we'll get some donuts for you. This would be great. If I may, gentlemen. I'd like to move on to human resource <laughs> finance, since DSO is not here. Good morning, Miss Donna. Good morning. How are you? Well, you brought me a check. Well, I know, more checks. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Thank you. the San Isabel Land Protection Trust Gal. And um, good news, there will be no monies in 2019, so no budget revisions. It would, even though it says 19, none would come through 19. Uh, you're talking about in conjunction with San Isabel uh, and Linda's? The GOCO. Okay. Uh, if we decide to be part of that. Not, we yes. haven't been... That's good information. On there. Um, what it would be at our end would be one account for expenditure, one for revenue. Nothing more, nothing less. No payroll, no 1099s, none of that. Um, the one thing that they had to know is they would have to come in or at least do their budget request like everyone else because it would be a, you know, a direct you know, in and out, and then also the, those books would be audited with our audit. Because people don't always realize that if they're through ours, then it, they fall into the same thing. But as far as a huge undertaking, no, but there are hoops. And so those were what we talked about. When did you talk to her? Just a couple of um, Monday morning? Yeah, Monday or Tuesday. I think Monday she went. She was gone. Oh, okay. uh, she she didn't get back to the office, so I talked to her Tuesday. Okay. Last I heard, she said she was going to come talk to you on Monday. On there. Well, yeah, I. <clears throat> so we would, in essence, be the fiscal agent for that yeah. grant. On there. Um, you know, and then so you're at their mercy if, if they something goes wrong that we're you know right. on the hook, right. and not that it would just as we are with every exactly entity that we're involved in as a fiscal agent. We don't really have any input. Sounds like in this case we may have the opportunity to be a little more involved, but <clears throat> they just handle their own finances generally. Why? Why do they? Is it because we are signing off as the county approving this? Yes, um, okay. but she said it's still not a hundred percent that she that she really needs you all. Yeah. Um, because they may just pass it to because they have the capabilities and their group is 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 yeah. everything it needs to be. I'm not sure why they felt that they wanted y'all or just them, but it you know it's a real good chance well, they'll just be able to, to pass it through their own. Talk about it at some point. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and I'll move that if they request it. So let's see if, and I'll say it that way so that if they decide not to request it, we'll let them handle it. If they request that the county be the fiscal agent for uh, this particular um, grant project, that we would want. Yeah, 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 I can't. <laughs> I don't know the that name long, of it. I yeah. forgot. Um, all sustainable Sangre proposal, Sangre Bank Protection Trust. Doesn't really say what it is. It is a go co grant, but yeah, I know that. Is there a second? What what what's the motion? 
correct. The question is fiscal agent. If they request it, but they may not request it. Well, I'll second the motion. For debate, if nothing else, we move and seconded that we act as a fiscal agent for San Isabel Land Trust on the GOCO grant for the sustainable water project. Discussion? Well, I'm not, I don't know enough about right now where it stands to even sign up to be their fiscal agent yet. To vote. Well, that was the whole presentation she I gave. I saw the presentation. Okay. I wasn't happy with it personally. Um, just my, my feeling on it. I don't know. It, it puts us in a, in a risk, you know, it, like she said, we're, we're, we're responsible for it, not them. Maybe that's why she's having second thoughts about it. Well, and one thing with reading it, it looks like um, your time is part of the match on this grant right. that you would be going to the meeting. Right. So at least right. you would be involved. right that's there. Right. So well, that's you the other just, piece of it. You know, yes, yes. Right. And they wanted 300 hours or whatever it was. And then, so what does that mean in the money? And if we don't go with one guy like we normally do, we take a person and assign him, well, do we get, does he get to count three times? Uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're, our accountability and our responsibility and what we're accountable for from a banking point of view later, I, mean, I don't know what, what it means. What would we do if they run short of funds? What, what would they run short of funds for if they do? And then how much is that that we'd be on the hook to, to dig into our bank? That, that's all. I just and, and the only thing I know is this particular gal um, she is very qualified to do this pass through. I mean, she has done numerous things of this caliber. That so it's a go somebody some other agency. It, it's Mrs. It's Miss Poole. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. That she I, has I, done I, those. So I so I wouldn't be concerned that she I'm would not. you know purposely let no, no, something. No, no, that's not the point. But something could. I mean, a natural disaster could. Well, I don't know. On there, but. Anyways, I just wanted to make sure that she knew everything that entailed at our end for her to do and that, you know, no payroll because then you've got the match and all the, and none of that is, is at our end. Okay. Okay. Further discussion? Hearing no, we should vote all in favor of county acting as a fiscal agent for San Isabel Land Trust. Say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Nay. Motion carries. Two in favor, one opposed. Um, I didn't say it, but it needs to go in the minutes. If requested by San Isabel Land Trust, we voted to the one to serve as a fiscal agent. Uh, Drop the ball there. Do I need to have her call and get on the agenda to say yay or nay, or if they don't want, just it, it is? Or Yeah, if you want. I mean, I think that was what we left uh, as an understanding with that she was going to come back. Well, I thought we were going to wait to discuss it. And I had actually came um, because he has gotten the first one to see if that's approved for the June. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, it's in an open meeting. If we're going to discuss, let's discuss it. Now let's do it. In our veteran session. service officer, once he had reached different Step steps in his accreditation, correct? On That's there. what I'm looking at. Okay, I'll share this with you, gentlemen, in just a second. <clears throat> so, his first certification this is for an increase in salary based on that certification. On is there. that correct? Okay, thank you. That's important. It took me a minute to get my mind around well, right. I thought there. it was a bill for the certification <laughs> to go get certified. But but. How much of an increase are we talking about? I 300 from 22 to 25. Is that right? Yes. Okay. I just so, didn't want so us to forget it. first certification in our agreement on they hired. How does that come out with the so yeah, from 22 to 25? Okay. With taking the 30,000 a year. Um, and then the next one will be. You know, I honestly can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a herd of cattle yeah, people. Good. I don't pay yeah, attention to it. I thought Tim was around 2,600, something like that. On there. Yeah, see, I just yeah. came. I would move we propose a salary we'll increase for a BSO officer based on his certification. It's there. I'll and then it. here. And then we'll he move and second to approve the certification for BSO discussion. Probably. 
thank him for taking the initiative. I mean, he promised he would do this when he got hired, but he did it. Yeah. And I, I commend him for doing yeah. that. And I think we're just doing what we said we do, and that's reward and him for those things. Didn't want to forget it. Yeah, I did not want to forget that after he spent way out of our field for me. So yeah, that was that training he went to. Detroit or, or somewhere. Cle yeah, Cleveland. So, somewhere Cleveland, that, yeah, that's yeah. like good. not the hot spot. It's good. Okay. Yeah, and if we haven't, gentlemen, I would yeah. respectfully request we remember to swing by and check in on him, you know. Yep. Frequently, I, I know we have any confidence in him, but I kind of forget he is a new employee. So uh, I try to get over there, but I haven't done as good a job as I should have. I've only been in there two or three times since we hired him. So. Thank you for that. I, that would have gotten way through the cracks. Okay. Anything else? Pardon? Uh, no, we should, yes. Can you restate that one? Yes, the motion is to approve an increase in salary of $250 a month, right? Uh, 300, 300, sorry, yeah, 200 next time, yeah. So a $300 a month increase in salary for VSO officer um, in response to his certification. Okay, thank you. Further discussion? Just one question. Go ahead. This is within the budget, right? Yes. But just one making sure. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed nay. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for following up on that. Yeah, that was huge because I guarantee you I totally spaced, I out. spaced out on it. And I think they so really you know, um, like him. I, mean, I think it's working Good. really nicely. Yeah, I got an email from Kathy Garcia. She's had some complaints in southern Colorado about BSO officers not doing much. But she assured me yesterday, she, I guarantee you, Custer County's name was not. not in yeah, she that mentioned that. Very good. I believe that. All right. Before you go, I got a, qu a quick one. Okay. We just voted on something. That's a procedure thing. And this is on San Isabel again. I want to discuss it. It wasn't posted for consideration, so I'm worrying that, that if we yeah. voted out of turn and somebody wanted to be here that had some concerns about partnering, blah, 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 right. we may have overstepped. Okay. Uh, I looked in the rules about that because I was concerned about us voting inside of these staff reports. As long as they're inside a staff report, they were not a preconceived or preconsidered idea for discussion and, and action. But how would the public so vote? They, they would have bring it in. And yes, neither would we. So... Uh, it's just a response to uh, an item that come up doing a report, just like voting on Tim's thing. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, and I was just following up because I she had. Said well, that's that she okay. Had I'm not knocking it. Not I just want to make sure. Right. This somebody. Well, there, because that, there were people here that hear that last time, and we didn't act on it. Right. And so now it came up, and they either for or against it. I don't know. Could have yeah. been. Quite so. Yeah, it's, it's a legitimate concern. question. Uh, it's, it's not a, a concern deal. for me. We do it with uh, VSO reports. We do it with we vote well, on a lot of stuff, stuff that's inside of a report that we do vote on. Uh, certainly. Well, it's my concern. Well, you can have yours and he can have his. That's right. okay. That's why there's three of us with sure. different opinions. I'm not going to belabor it because right. we want to get through the meeting. Well, within um, the rights of any of us to to uh, rescind the motion previously adopted. Sure. Uh, okay. so just, it, just a, just a uh, note. Okay. Yeah. Point well taken. Yeah. Uh, I like to say we do it on other things during the meeting. I but your point of 24-hour right. notice. And, and I wouldn't. And we, we could have had that same thing happen. We've been asked a lot. Like the broadband thing came in and hit us cold, uh, and we postponed it. Mm -hmm. And we got a, a lot of people because it was a big deal. I don't know how big a deal this is, but okay. it was a deal with me. Well, so far we haven't been requested of it, so I guess we do. We could reconsider it then sure. if we want. Certainly can reconsider it or rescind it. Either one would be able. Okay. Thank you, Hi, ma'am. Great. Thanks. <coughs> Appreciate you being on top of that oh, vehicle. Way okay. to go. Thanks. Bring in another check. I'd there like to just thank you publicly for your help with the whole time, comp time question that you spent a lot of time helping me with. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there's the ghost of Cindy. I should ask if do we know if Tim or John is he's I think around? he's coming back today from oh, okay. the training. Okay, all right. So yeah. we will move forward. Uh, there, y'all have his report. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with that at the end then, because we have Miss Cindy here. Good morning. Good morning. Office of Emergency Management. 
Let me try to get down on one knee because this might be the last official <laughs> report. Yeah, as the National Weather Service radio crashes and rain clouds are building and panic what, setting uh, in. <laughs> did anything happen on the spring fire that you're aware of? Minor flooding. Um, I had not heard. Their so. director drove around yesterday. They did a, do a code red. Um, they did um, basically a Beta Creek and Middle Creek. Pass Creek didn't get too bad. It's getting saturated though. So. Yeah, their commissioners left the CCI conference early because they had the flash flood warning. Everybody's watching the, before the warning got issued, the Springs Media was already down there with cameras set up. And, um, I think it was. Around somebody's wow. notified. Oh, yeah, everybody's watching that huh. one, so um, it'll be really interesting to see what happens down there. So. Let's see. Don't want you to take it personally. I deleted your whole file this morning and had to go find it. See how you are. Panicked. Out of sight, out now. Okay. Okay. Hey, yes, Cindy, thanks for highlighting what you did change because that saves time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the financial no part and grant part is, you know, most most of meat and already. potatoes is already on page two, but that's just kind of the running summary, and right. that has always helped me as well, because... No point rehashing old... Yeah, but then it's still there, and it's, you know, right. gives you a chance to look, but yeah, yeah. the deposits well, went up to. nicely. Good. VIPS. VIPS is Volunteers and Police Services, which is basically possible. Oh, that's right, possibly. Yeah. Okay. How much money is the Ready, Set, Go grant? Do you know what type? Total? Um, so it was originally, they were giving us 50000 um, and we originally weren't asking for an ownership match, so, so we wrote it for fifty five. We were going to put in fifty. They upped it, so we got, or, or we will get when we get the final payment, $51,879.75 from the International Association of Fire Chiefs, and we received $15,180.75 in matching funds. And then we paid for some blue paint, so the total project was 67167 I thought it turned out good. And, and from Ready, Set, Go's uh, perspective, Jen Dietz said uh, for the 50 acres and basically, you know, $51,000, it was right around the thousand dollar an acre, and it was a very um, cost-effective grant. That's way under what they normally see. So, so I guess I've probably been sleeping, but this is the first time I've seen in this document about a preliminary approval for the special missions vehicle. Is that new traction, or was that? No, that was in the April report okay. too, I April thirtieth. I thought we had applied for it, but I didn't know. Uh, preliminary, they don't, they, you know, the state won't give Pueblo the grant to sign until usually September, October, and um, when those, when those are approved, you, you could be ready to order, you know, this year, if you, once you get the go-ahead, because Pueblo's the fiscal agent. Typically, we put it in the next year's budget, and we get ready to move, you know, right at the first quarter, but if you're trying to buy something end a year and get a better price, you could move as soon as Pueblo gets that grant signed. But no, that, um, that so came out. it approved pending signature and then process. Pending, there's no funding changes from right. FEMA to the state right. to, you know. They get their final number, but the grant's gonna be whatever it is. Yeah, the South Region approved it all. And then we also approved um, the, uh, the Salamander and Rapid Tag stuff as a regional project. So basically, you know, we got what we wanted for the, the VMS message boards were um, talked about that those were a very good project and that they'd like to see those come back next year. So it makes next year easy if we stick with that, unless needs change. Okay. Uh, the fence at the sheriff's office, <clears throat> that's yep. all been approved. It was approved. Yeah, it was ready to spend last yeah. fall. Well, no, it would have. It got the approval from the state and the region like last October, November. Um, so now I think the holdup is trying to 
tag team with the new AT&T. I think now. the AT&T threw the wrinkle in there, yeah, because you're putting that in the middle. Um, but we did the environmental and historic preservation site clearance. We got that final clearance, so it is all good. So um, just a matter of, uh, um, you know, get and, and you've got some time on that, um, you know. It's just that somebody needs to keep the yeah. South Region updated and the next South Region meeting is next week in Canada. Thank you. Okay, very good. Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. um, and this may be outside of what you're doing, but I keep getting these emails about radio templates. You, are you getting those? The ones from Kerry, the whole well, kind of everybody? Well, that was from Beth Archuleta. Yeah. What, what is all that about? So I, I put it kind of in my final report. We, when we had the open mic issue and we got a list from the state and found out that their inventory didn't match our inventory at all, we had a radio comms meeting. Out of that meeting, Carrie Gallegos took lead on organizing that. I think I disabled and uh, you know inhibited, got um, recycled 39 some broken radios. I think they inhibited a number of other missing radios. In the end, as project lead on that, um, she um, sent in her modify change delete form to the state and then went back to every other agency and said, now you go fix yours, you fix yours, you fix yours. And so, um, and, and I document that in my report that that's kind of a, she dropped the ball for everybody else so now everybody else has to finish theirs and it's still on my to-do list because I've got SAR radios and public health radios and, and people that shouldn't be on mine, uh, but I thought, my understanding was they, that um, she had taken that project on for the county as a whole and wasn't going to leave it like, you know, two-thirds done or three-quarters done. So there's there's some follow-up, and I put that in here. Somebody's going to have to do it if it's not going to be dispatch as the lead. Pretty good, so you're getting pretty short, huh? Pretty short. And then we are scheduled for the G58 or G358 meeting down in Pueblo. Are you going to go? I was planning on I tried to register for it, but their website irritated me, so I got out of it. <laughs> yeah. So got all their information and wouldn't let me submit it, so I thought I'd just show up. Okay. I'll contact. I forget that person's name. Yeah, and Erica left, so I'm not sure who is in charge right now um, of that training program. But they they took 358. We decided we didn't have enough interest. Justin Custer, uh, Orfano, wanted to do it. Pueblo ended up ho hosting it, so I think uh, Orfano's got a lot of folks that want to go take that. So um, it's sheriff uh, and under sheriff planning on going as well. Oh, interesting. If it was. If they charge for it, you know, I'd make a little more effort at trying to get registered, but there's no cost, so I thought it was uh, Okay, and most of the time they don't, most of the time they don't do yeah. any books anymore. Originally, as a South Region project, um, we did uh, the evacuation and reentry um, plan together, and then uh, Custer and Fremont finished them, and they were identical. Fremont changed theirs a little bit. Custer didn't, but when we were helping with the spring fire last summer, Shannon and Chris and several of the deputies made the comment that they didn't really have a plan, and so, you know, when we are supporting each other South Region and we're not using the same types of tools, it's hard to step in. Um, this course will probably be a little bit more at the 30,000 foot level in theory of trying to get that done. But the state really kind of pushes that as soon as you've evacuated, you got to start thinking about re-entry and um, that's a little too soon in my book. Um, it just, you know, when the incident's still expanding right. and you're already talking right. about how soon you're going to get sure. people back in, <laughs> power lines down or yeah. gone. Or, yeah, I had some presentations on that at this last conference we were at. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's all the consequence management side where, um, you know, and law enforcement definitely does have a role there, but, you know, like with a fire, the incident command team is going to do suppression, but the county gets everything else, evacuation, sheltering, reentry, damage assessment, all those good things. So that's part, that course is one of the Colorado um, Academy curriculums. Um, 
one of the, the big courses and, and they keep offering it, I'm sure. Um, but that'll be a good one. I was looking at... Um, I forget the date of that ride right off, but it doesn't matter. Okay. What we had scheduled here um, was um, some grant deliverables. So um, when Alyssa was in the other day talking about public health grant deliverables, I decided to count ours up. And we have, EMPG has 30 grant deliverables. I've completed 11, four in process, one's postponed, and three are scheduled for June 18th. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I told Christy if you didn't have a move done that I would commit to volunteering and coming in June 18th because I want to take the WebEOC class in the morning again anyway. Um, I will work with her to see if she feels comfortable continuing. I mean, she may say at this point, you know, nobody's been hired, there's not a plan, maybe we should postpone, but that's, you know, that was a chunk of grant deliverables right there. And then um, uh, Dispatch um, has a role in the, uh, one of the grant deliverables, and, and that was in this report, but it's the uh, alert and notification, public notification plan update, and then also participating in the fire in the foothills, um, planning meeting, tabletop, and evacuation, limited scale exercise. So those are things that we need to keep in in the plan. Um, and then the one that was postponed was we were also, as that radio project, we were supposed to be doing some radio reprogramming and tuning because all our old radios are in zone one and now there's a zone six and zone one's up in Denver, it's not here. And, um, but because of the JAG grant, Shannon wanted to cancel that. So we were going to reprogram in May. I asked Barry Mitchell to push that out to like September. And um, I think we're just going to have to look at, you know, through CES, look at what agencies would want to go ahead and reprogram anyway without the sheriff's office, because I don't think he wants to spend that money now with radios coming in. But they're drifting, they're at, you know, there's, there's a need since we haven't done any tuning or programming since 2015. And it's going to be much more cost effective to bring everybody in at the same time. You know, like one week where maybe Road and Bridge is in the morning and EMS is in the afternoon or however they want to do that. And, and Wet Mountain Fire usually does their own thing, but Wetmore Fire is going to need some help with that. Uh, and is Search and Rescue's meeting tied to the web BOC and uh, all that on the 18th or not? Is that going to be considered their meeting? I've lost track of the next star. So our board meeting was this past Wednesday and the next general membership meeting is Monday night. Um, I brought the rigging for rescue course book um, that, you know, they, I think scheduling some conversation with them, whether it's a board meeting or the or a, a BOCC meeting, um, you know, they've got a request in for you. I think it's a legitimate request, and um, if you could follow up with uh, you know what time that song with means. Jonathan. The general membership meeting is at 6:30. Uh, training will start about seven, and the training that night is on the um, starts out with dispatch, getting a 911 call, the sheriff's office, and then going through the mission coordinator and spinning up the the meeting um, but that's yeah that'll be a general membership meeting and then the next board meeting is still tentatively oh, we didn't get an email back but still planning on being held at 4 30 on july 3rd even though it's the night before the fourth people felt like they'd probably be here for the parade anyway so just get her done yeah okay i don't know why i just you I were lost track of that. Yeah, those are right. Um, they're pretty standard usually. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I did come up with some other things I was going to mention to you um, in addition to the report. Okay. I took the F-150 down to get an oil change yesterday. It was a little short on miles, but it had been since July last year. Mm -hmm. And um, we had an issue with that last oil change and the company that did it went back and corrected it but when they pulled out that air filter yesterday it had some oil and stuff on it too yeah. so I did the oil filter and the mm -hmm. air filter and got the tires and every you know fluids checked I just didn't want to leave that for somebody um, there was a oil pan leak on that and they fixed it under the warranty 
but um, the service provider said that they think there's another that it's still leaking. So um, Ford's willing to take it in. There's also three recalls um, that so they want to get it in, do the recall work, um, and then double check the oil pan to get it in under the five-year um, drivetrain warranty. I tentatively scheduled it for June 17th, but then you know after watching the video last night, you're not going to be anywhere close to having anybody in in the position unless there's somebody else, you know, we want to coordinate getting it down there or, or moving it out. Um, but just, you know, noting that we need to watch that oil and in case it is that pan leaking. Uh, how many miles on that pickup? 20,900 as of yesterday. Okay. And, uh, that was a third oil change. And the warranty is for? Uh, the drivetrain is for five years. I think it's 60,000 miles. I'm not quite sure on the miles. Um, it does meet. Um, they He's checking to see if it gets fixed under the drivetrain warranty again or because Pueblo Ford already fixed it once, but it seems to be leaking again, that they may fix it under like a, a maintenance warrant. Yeah. So it's covered either way, but he wasn't quite sure. So. Uh, and our county shop has not done any oil changes on no. that one. No. Probably got a few free oil changes when you came with it. They didn't. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yeah. So your keys and all that? You know. Everything's, yeah, everything's in the office. Um, post office keys. And in your office? Or? Yeah, upstairs. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Do you want to leave that stuff with Donna or? It, I couldn't get in that building and my life depended on it. So. <laughs> well, seeing how you're the new emergency manager until you yeah. hire someone by state statute, um, I could give you the door combo. <laughs> yeah, so we probably ought to do something in yeah, that regard yeah. or leave all your stuff. Yes, yeah. it's real people. easy and, and I'm fine doing it however you want. Um, there's, you know, mail and, and everything else. and. You know, I had made the offer to help out a couple days a week or something if you need. I mean, I don't know what your plan is. You haven't asked me to do anything else, but um, you know, it, my my commit my my dilemma was I just couldn't do it full time because I've got some other personal issues. Um, I wanted to clarify a couple things when I listened to the meeting last night too on the the call out guidelines and the response areas. And I know you guys talked about the map yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, the call-out guidelines, Christy Coleman helped develop those. Um, these are the call-out guidelines. It's a written document. There's a nice pretty map to hang on the wall because a picture's worth a thousand words. <laughs> um, but right in the opening statement, um, it says the purpose of the document is to clarify response agency boundaries within Custer County and to clearly identify assisting agencies in priority of call out order according to geographic location and incident type. Um, it's It really is all about that no man's land. Mm -hmm. And when you do that workshop, or if you do that workshop, Christy Coleman helped develop these. I don't think Jen was involved, but not to the extent Lisa was kind of alluding to. Dave Tonzing really helped map all this. Um, Chuck Ippolito helped develop the map. There were several um, reiterations last August after we did the Adobe um, after action review, uh, we made a change around structure fire, structure fire versus wildland fire because we did not want ambulances deploying up like a, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so that was the last change. The last call out guidelines were dated October 18th. Um, and then they were looking at updating them again after the Florence um, issue. So, uh, and the other thing, you know, fire is the no man's land too. They're not in a tax district. They're going out and doing the same thing. We have talked about the ability for them to charge for service. Um, like on the uh, Bishop's Castle fire, you had several road and bridge guys there all day. And, and on a hazmat incident, fire will bill out, but on a structure fire out of out of district they're not billing out so i don't know what the the laws are on uh, you know ems doing it but it's it's a bigger issue uh, because statutorily shannon's the fire marshal and his only only uh responsibility outside of the district is just to not have a wildland fire he could watch the house burn to the ground as long as the, he's doing something about making sure the trees don't catch <laughs> so um and I know at one point Dave Tonzing said uh, when they annexed into the hillside area 
they they wish they'd considered doing a fee base because by the time they paid for the election and the vote, it just doesn't bring in enough money with the mill levies to, to really have done it that way. And that's why they were not going to annex any more like the Oak Creek Grade area in... So it's been a hot topic the last right. couple of years. Um, so Definitely needs some attention. There's no question yeah. about it. Well, those folks, Christy Coleman, Kitshai, um, Dave Tonzing, really know uh, a lot. They have a lot of insight on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and obviously our conversation yesterday was specifically to EMS. We yeah. We weren't talking about any of the rest of it. But no, but but they, you know, mean, Dave... It need to be talked about. Yeah, I mean, Dave's been really engaged with Beth and EMS, and, and he's just super smart on some of that. Um, uh, and then on the... I brought, um, brought the EMPG grant in. I brought... Um, this is just one of the, the emergency management program guide for Colorado, but um, you know this is all this position's all grant funded. The um, I I talked about you know the staffing patterns going to have to change the targeted training form. These are a couple of grant forms in the grant application that have to change. The job description has to be included with that. Um, it also has to have the date on the job description. I don't know if you've posted that. Um, you know how you're gonna, as far as the the job des description part. Um, the job description, um, the original one. I went through the original packet when I was hired. It uh, it's all the same now, except for the last burb about deploying out of county and then mm -hmm. adding that date and the salary range, which was right. a, the state mandated to add that on. Um, but the minimum education was a bachelor's degree in business, public administration, emergency management, or equivalent experience. Um, the the advanced professional series and the professional series for female were courses, the ICS courses, um, CPR and first responder certificates, emergency management coursework. So, you know, it seemed to be a lot of conversation back and forth about what, you know, what the job was versus what it paid. And I don't know if right. you've gotten that far. We, we just got the new uh, job, job description. description. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, yesterday, so okay so um you know and that's that so cindy refresh my mind here you, you're going to be around a while to help transition that oh. was part of what you said initially so how much time is there for you to say that again to somebody like me i offered to say a, a couple Until. days a week through the month okay, um so you know this month well, I'm going to be around. I mean, it, it depends on. I guess it really depends on who you hire and how much help they need. Sure, I understand. But it, if there's if there's somebody digging for eight hours for something when they could have picked up the phone and I could have helped them solve it in sure. fifteen minutes, I hope well, they try. Well, that's that's you know? what we want. I just wanted yeah. to reassure. So no, I'm that, not. That's what you're still doing. I'm not leaving the just, county or. He's giving or, us a crash course here in front of no. you know, three minute deals. No. Don't forget everything you just said. And and that's fine. And I'm happy to help. Um, Christy Coleman's happy to sit on um, a hiring panel. She's yeah, done it good. before. You know, the the last time around, they had all the applications come in. You know, they had minimum requirements. They did a scoring matrix. Sure. The top five scores got interviewed, but five and six were tied. So they did six interviews mm -hmm. when I was hired. Out of I think there were somewhere in the neighborhood of ten to fifteen applicants. Mm -hmm. um, so you know. I, I don't know how you're going to handle that, but well, we've crossed that bridge with some okay. others too. So okay, but that's good good input. Yeah, and you know, just let me know, like you know, if there's something I can do to help. Um, and then I had given you the site visit checklist in my last month's report. Okay, just to know you got it, and I know I sent it to everybody, but that was kind of the state making me be the bad person and tell you if we're going to keep taking federal grants. And I know with the JAG grant is a federal grant. It, some point we have to start really so, thinking about that compliance yeah. with two CFR two. So you mentioned Grand Guy. I did have one question. For okay. You. That you you've got twenty five hundred bucks roughly left in the two thousand seventeen Homeland Security grant. Do you have to spend? Mm -hmm. Which are we going to be able to spend it? Or are we going? Oh yeah, you know you've got uh, so like probably end of you. 
Closeout probably won't even be fourth quarter this year. Closeout's probably a year from now. But you were that saying that those span three years. But yeah, I understand that. But then uh, you were saying somebody wanted that some agency wanted to get this stuff spent sooner than later. Oh yeah, the state. Yeah, yeah, the state does. Yeah, the, yeah. So that so that this, needs to be worked on. MRC and and VIPs need to get their money spent. So I think Alyssa wants to spend. Are they fenced in category like training has to be training, or is there yeah. some, some other flexibility with these yeah. three lines you gave us, like VIPS, MRC? Yep. So they have to. Um, VIPS is training materials and instruction. Right, they have a thousand and it's materials thousand and supplies. But when Rich Kramer originally put in for that grant, he was very specific. This is what I want. Boom, boom, sure? boom, boom, boom. So then when Troy Couch went to order, they kicked it back because they said, it's no, not near, this is not what you wanted originally. Um, okay. And then they kicked out some law enforcement items and training and supplies. So um, we were looking at reclassifying those to okay. some of the radio stuff, batteries, mics, okay. whatever. And so with the JAG grant, you know, maybe we can get some something okay. to go along Just with those. Just didn't want to lose it. No, you don't want to lose it. And, yeah, and so the, at the state level, we've got a new request in for the new money. And they're looking and going, hey, how come all these agencies in the South region haven't even spent their old money? And we're, we That's were right. just two, but there's a bunch of them. Okay. So MRC spent part of it. Um, so that's something that, I, that would have to be passed on to your so, yeah, and successor. It's, and and I've got it. don't want to lose track. That's all my point. Is. I've got it in my report. Um, Larissa Olendorf's the main point of contact, but then uh, MRC is going to go through public health, and VIPS is okay. going to go through... Uh, Bill Parks, and we need to, you know, he's right upstairs once in a while, so I just need to get them back on track with getting it done, or, or you know, whoever comes in. It's, But it's not critical. you got some time. It just needs to be... It's been hard getting them going, and a lot of it we stalled to see where radio stuff went, because it may all get rerouted towards radios, or programming. So. Okay, thanks. Yep. Yep. The home is the top one. Can you jot that number down? Mm -hmm. In here? Yeah. That would be great. And the bottom one. You want the outside and, yeah. and uh, the... Um, whoop, I keep calling you. I've called you twice now since I pulled that up. So sorry. Ignore. Disregard. <laughs> well, she does that my, all the time. My but. pants are vibrating. <laughs> yeah. Well, and when you get done, pop over. Or yeah. maybe the nickel, too. How's that? Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we should have some. Are you going to be in this afternoon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to finish up some of you know. We've got to meet at 2, two or 2, two o'clock, so maybe between this meeting and then I'll slip a little. Okay. No, that'd be good. So. Well, publicly, okay. want to say thank you. Uh, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I'm going to miss it. Um, you know, I'm not going to miss all of it, but I'm going to miss it. I'm certainly not qualified to thank you for everything you've done because I don't know. Yeah. But I know you've represented our county and you've put your heart and soul into this job. And yeah. I think I've left, you know, at least the office in a lot better shape. You know, Meredith knows and a few people know than yeah. it was. So, um but yeah, I, I think we're in a better shape. Good. So, um, okay. you know, we'll, well do. But I, I will, you know, I'm. I would be happy to help answer questions and do a little orientation um, when the time is right. So just you know, I would fully expect that probably to be a request from us. Okay, that works for me. Okay, thank you. All right. You. Oh, he managed to get up and shake your hand. That's, it's always a question. Check your hand. We've got a pool of how much longer it's going to be before he won't be able to get out of that chair. Thanks, Cindy. Well, you just eventually I'll grow into the chair. Is that the idea? <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Keep away from cows, Clint, yeah. and you'll be able to get out of the chair. Okay. Uh, gentlemen, do you want to take time to look at the VSO report? Uh, Typically, we would have a motion to approve that. So maybe do you want to you want to approve it this meeting or when? Uh, well, it needs back. to be sent in. Got to send it in. Yeah. So we pro I move we approve the uh, report that it. was submitted by the yeah, so I didn't. I, I looked through it. We move and second it to approve the report. I'm assuming we can. I'll just do that right now. Print this one out and we can sign it. Uh, Number of meetings. No, I didn't have any big questions about it either.
Further discussion? Looks good. Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. I'm printing that out now, so we'll sign that. And I have a copy. Oh, you do? Didn't know. I got one coming to your printer. So either way, did I have a copy? Yeah, yeah so I did. You maybe better. Hard copy? Yeah. But. If you want to sign this, but you can. Uh, <coughs> Thank you, ma'am. Anything else under staff reports, gentlemen, that you're aware of? No. no. Not new business or unfinished business? No. Nor do I. We'll move on to new business. First item uh, of our new business would be consideration of the subdivision waiver request from uh, TV Hills. Uh, we will allow public comment on any of the new business items that are action items. Uh, so I will. Give the audience opportunity for that, gentlemen. If you'd like to come forward, you're more than welcome. Just to pull up another chair, if you like. Sure. A little bit more padding on the chairs back here, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to set him in a lot longer than we have to make that request. <laughs> how are you, Ron? I, look, I do like the clock too. I don't know what yeah, that's Matt, indicated. How are you, buddy? Oh, oh, backwards. Backwards. Yeah. That, does that just take the water? Does it no, I think all? that's pretty well covered. The whole bunch. <laughs> If we said it pertained to one, then we'd have to identify somebody. We don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yep. Thanks for coming. Um, obviously, planning and zoning has uh, given consideration to your request. You're aware of that, I'm assuming. I am, but okay. we haven't met with them yet. And what I understand, we're trying to get all of our stuff together, like Matt was saying, you know. To or to them. Commission? The planning, planning commission. commission. Is that right? I think we should read their response and then. Because we thought we had till September, so we're just trying to get a few things okay. together. We're just more more questions we have on the subdivision with on one and two. One and two on the plat maps. You know, we originally have number one here, which is this one here, and then later on we brought in number two. We showed both of them actually with the new map. Well, that was Properties down the land division along the Green Road on the state, you know, why they would approve that if they're not approving us. Right. So that was on my list. Okay. The other thing that kind of came up too was there's a TV Hills one and there's a TV Hills two. Okay. And they're adjacent to each other. Um, the well provides water to both. Um, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to. Okay. And there's two TV Hill two over here. So, you know, our, our properties up here with one of the right. as well. Other side of the road is about TV Hills two, which we have one, two, three residents currently on that are technically in TV Hills two. So Don't your bylaws cover what, what Well and that's the other problem because the lineage of kind of how this thing is passed on I don't think is really normal. I don't know. But Healy owned it. Mm -hmm. Healy's estate sold to Tapito, and then Tapito gave the car base out from the county. They gave the road from here up. So that now everybody on the system is technically the owner. But my question is, is okay, is there typically an owner of a subdivision? Okay. Because when you look on the GIS map on the Custer County, Tapito still owns all the east. I mean, that they're still showing they own everything, but the people, so it's the Water Association, are the owner of the subdivision. 
Uh, yeah, I don't you know I can't I mean? answer so that. But that's all question. stuff that's kind of sure. been trying to figure out to present to this commission. Okay. Um, I'm researching a little bit now. One thing that you had mentioned, this was Mitchell. I believe right. they own this right here, which is in TV Hills 2. That used to be owned by, was it Lawson? What was Lawson. the Lawson? Mm -hmm. Okay. He had indicated to him that he has a, an existing well permit for this tract, which is 10 wouldn't, acres. Right? Wouldn't surprise me mm -hmm. because it's, of those well permits right there across the road. it's NTV Hill subdivision. Right. And, and why it's 10 acres. So there's things coming out that I guess like mm -hmm. we're, tr we're trying well. to figure it out. Yeah. Right. Just Go ahead, sir. Button. Yeah. Uh, this is beyond the scope, and I'll tell you why. We have a response. We sent this, we asked the Planning Zoning Committee to review this and make a recommendation to us what they feel is appropriate. I'd like to read what the, and, and I'm happy to share the whole thing with you. There's no reason I wouldn't do this, but the operative part of this, the TV Hill subdivision, and this is 100% of the Planning and Zoning Committee response. How many, how many is on there? Yeah. Can you ask them? Uh, yeah, there's uh, What's the membership, Jackie. Seven. 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 Okay. We have two alternates. So let me just read what, what their report to us said. The TV Hill subdivision currently has an adjudicated water supply. If home, and I'm just taking a piece of this letter, but I'll share the whole thing. If the homeowners in the subdivision want to change, want a change in water use, they must petition the state to amend or change the current court decree that is not the responsibility of the Custer County. Therefore, the PC Planning Commission recommends that BOCC deny the request for the subdivision order. So the way I read this is the commission feels that it is not a county issue, it's a state issue, and you need to follow up with the state to get this approved. So showing us the maps is great. I'm, I, I, I feel for you. However, I'm not sure that based on the planning commission, this is a county issue at this point. In the states? You know, there's land use, that's county, and water use is state. Um, so we've permitted to the state. If I share this with the email, state comes back with these folks. and says no. as long as the county's okay with there's the no subdivision problem. waiver. Could no, that's subdivision. Print, uh, and now you're saying yeah, the county's saying no. Nope. I can email it to you. If it's you the know. state's decision. I don't think I have it. So yeah. I'm a little bit at a loss. Where do I go? Because yeah. I talked to both. Understand. And we've permitted. We've asked for permit twice already right. from the state, and they yeah. keep coming back with different explanations. Even our well driller right. was at loss. And says I don't understand this. I, I've never had run into this Let's before. Jackie, no. come up and uh, I, help. Well, help well, there's two understand. things we're looking at. It's a subdivision waiver, but they have a water decree. Right. The water decree comes from the state of Colorado. Okay. So what that email said is for them to change their water, they would have to change that water decree, which comes from the state of Colorado. Two different things. Correct. And that, that's what I was going to comment. Uh, with respect, I don't agree with Commissioner Prince's evaluation of this email. I mean, not of the email, but of the intent of the email. I don't think you're here trying to get a change in a court decree for your water from yeah, us. Yeah, you're here right. looking for a subdivision waiver. Right. That is our responsibility to deny or approve. Right. If you wanted a court decree for a change in your water rights, certainly I agree 100% with Commissioner Prince that that is a court thing, but I, my understanding was that's not what you're here no. for. No, and that's what they said. We needed a waiver. Right. Right. Through... You guys. It's as right. long as so I'm not sure why you're to do what in your mind. To drill a well? But because of the zoning. They have a water decree for a subdivision. Right. In order to pr approve a subdivision, they have to prove water. Water, that's right. So the water was a community well. Now they would like us, they are not allowed to drill a personal well right. because they already have a water decree. That's correct. But it so also stated, Jackie, excuse me, in our covenants and everything else, if anything goes bad with the well, we at that time would be allowed to get a permit, a well permit. But see, that was not done, that was done with your water association, not with the county. So like I said before, you when you recorded water. that, 
it doesn't hold water. Oh. Because we, we don't have much water to hold. So have, <laughs> you would have to go before the planning commission, and they would have to change the subdivision ranks. Well, and and what would you consider to fail? well here when you have 285 was, gallons and you're yeah. going down to eight gallons and you're pumping mud i mean well, are we that, being that, proactive can, enough i think what she's saying <laughs> you can apply for a waiver if you've got to show that there's water that's approved for that application they can't approve it if you know if you don't have the water that's that you're approved a, a permit for that application <clears throat> I'm, I'm guess i'm losing you a little bit no, no it's not no, you have to, since you have a water decree on that that's subdivision, my, that's my Correct. you're going to have to go to the state and have the change. state change that's, the water That's decree. what I'm trying to say. But we don't want a decree, we don't want to change the decree, we just want a waiver for, you know. And the planning commission has said, no, we we're not going to give you water. a subdivision waiver to the commissioners. So it's your only option was. is what right. Mr. Prince but said. We haven't presented our case to the planning commission. Correct. I thought we had to go through the proper channels in order to go in September. They got the all the commission. they got all the paperwork from TV Hill subdivision. So, so but we still didn't present our case. You presented the case through emails that you sent to these guys. Right. Uh-huh. So they're saying no way. And actually, they saved you money because they're telling you the proper way to do it, to go get the water decree changed. But we're not after the decree, just right. like Mr. Flower was saying. The water decree is not going to change anything with the production of no. the well. I understand that. Uh, I was under this well. assumption after our last meeting in Wetmore, prior to getting this email from the planning and zoning, that they were going to meet and consider your request. Uh, that did not happen. I certainly within our purview to request them to have a meeting for you, with you, so that you can present your case to them if you so choose to do that. Uh, but I think, I don't, I'm not sure where the whole court decree came into play here other than the fact you. is you were after a subdivision waiver. Uh, to get in, uh, to drill another well. Yeah, and because we're trying to be proactive, you know, like we said before, we're trying to help the other people. We still want to be involved with the well to support the well for the other people. And with the other three that dropped off before, after that, before that, mm -hmm. it's helped the situation. But we have these in subdivision two. We have them cleared by the fire department, clear down to Fred Smith. We have uh, Fra uh, Frank Harden that did get off the well and stuff like that, you know, and Jack Harden. So we're trying to do that also. We're well away from the main part of the well. We're uh, close to, to uh, uh, Trinity Ranch, the old Trinity Ranch, where the Doc Lay's property now. He has five existing wells on that. So all we're asking is for a waiver. We're asking for an opportunity, whether we can take advantage of it. And I think you guys are well aware, too, that out of three people drilling a well, one of us may get a well, and maybe none of us will. And the other people up there really don't think they have even a chance to drill a well. So they're going to have to stay on that well until it's defunct. We think we may have an opportunity. And all we would like is just that simple waiver to have an opportunity to drill a well. Yeah. And it's three of us that may, might are going to try. Mm -hmm. And one what might get something. And I don't feel we're interfering with any other well production water whatsoever when Trinity has five different different wells on their property you know so yeah and I think part of the problem is if I understand the whole system right that you say you're just simply looking for a subdivision waiver well, there's nothing simple about this okay we're getting ready to go off into a swamp that we probably will never survive in number one in my opinion number two I get it that you don't believe you're going to injure any other water right owners. The state Proof. feels differently about that because if they didn't, if they agreed with your assessment that, that you wouldn't cause any injury, they would allow you a, a well. There's a reason they're not allowing you, granting you a well permit because they believe you will cause injury to adjoining landowners. That's all there is to it. And the letter we got, was it didn't insinuate that at all, in my opinion. It was just say, if you give us a, a waiver on that subdivision, that's why you cannot get a permit. We will go ahead with the process for the three and that people. That is because they yeah. are trying to pass the liability and the responsibility onto someone else. The state's not going to take that responsibility of drying up your neighbor's wells. Well, that's my question with looking at these properties. I know they're not in the subdivision, 
one of them potentially is, but if if they have issued a permit in the last five to ten years, they've set precedent already. And that's and that was something that I was trying to dig into, and I was. Did right. the commission look into that? Uh, they you might. Know. It's certainly that. That's the no state purview of ours. We've got so one, two, three. Now maybe four. Right. <laughs> so, and that was what I was trying to, to to figure out: is have they already set the precedent? That is something you know. The state water court or a judge is going to have to decide, and we <laughs> certainly can't decide. And that. we have subdivision one. We're underneath these. The, this problem with needing a waiver is subdivision two underneath the same and then beyond that you have parcels that people drill the well they're out of this and it's the same person that owned it all right so how much of this was done so let's, let's go down the supposition road for a minute let's say that the board of county commissioners did grant you a subdivision waiver and the three of you drilled wells mm -hmm. and all three of those wells were productive adequate wells and then TV Hills Wells goes dry completely. What do you think is going to happen then? There are going to be 13 other people sitting in these two chairs screaming at us to grant another subdivision waiver. Would you agree to that supposition? I mean, what they, else is their choice? They don't. They they'll they'll haul water. I feel because they don't feel they have an opportunity. They don't feel that they're in a spot where they could even give. And Honestly. you feel you are, but they're not. Yes. Okay, explain that to me. Well, Arkansas Valley came out and we checked it out and stuff, and where we're at down on the lower end, well away from the main part of the well, he thought we had a real good opportunity to get some water. But okay. up there where the other persons are, the clear on the other side of the mountain where it's super rocky and hard, the well that's out there, then the main well is 600 and some feet deep anyway. And the Trinity Ranch well down below us only went 35 foot deep and got water. You know, and they had five, four other wells besides that. We feel in that lower part where we're at, and we're, we're welcome you guys to come out and look at the property. Uh, Dan Hendrick. <coughs> yeah, the geography, geography, there must be a ridge running through here somewhere. Right. Yeah. So you have a up in here, right? But you have another ridge coming through over here like this with Tabanos and all this, this area here. And this is all pretty rocky up here in this top part but these homes up through here and down through here is pretty rocky and then it goes down the bottom where drapers are and on people down below and hardens and stuff like this where we're at is clear on the other side and we have really good grassy area and all this stuff down in here coming off of down so into the, Trinity Ranch so we're down on the very bottom end really here right these three right here yes not down there right here okay. all right got it. Sure. So we're yes sir go ahead make a suggestion please uh, I'm going to personally have a very hard time voting against what the Planning Commission says. Okay, I just want to tell you that because that's what we have a Planning Commission. They're experts, I'm not. What I would like to do, or would like to recommend, is ask to be on the agenda with the Planning Commission. If the Planning Commission changes their recommendation to us, as I just said a second ago, I almost always will vote according to what they recommend because that is their job. So rather than us arguing about, I don't mean arguing, having a discussion about the water that I personally cannot, I will not agree with this because of the recommendation. Can I recommend that we kind of wrap this up, ask to be on the planning commission's meeting on the agenda, discuss with them, and if they come back to us and say, we understand further, we're willing to change our opinion at that point, then come back to us and we'll see how we go. That okay, just makes sense and I agree with you, it. but can I ask one thing? Of course. You said there are seven people on the commission. Correct. How many people voted against and how many people Don't voted for? Pardon? Don't Don't I have no idea. But maybe it says on there. Um, Was it in the formal meeting, Jackie? Okay, can I interrupt Please and tell do, you Jackie. the reason why we... Okay, so the planning commission was polled they had all the information because one of the members was actually on the board when TV Hills did a subdivision, or they're all familiar with it. They got the water decree and stuff. So they were asked, and they thought that they could do this by looking at the paperwork like they would do in a public meeting without charging 500 bucks for these people to get the same answer. Yeah. Or maybe possibly not. Water is a touchy subject. The state does the water. We don't hand out subdivision waivers like candy. They're very, very hard to get. 
Uh, usually when we give a subdivision waiver, it's something that the county has done with a road or something. And so we also have another subdivision, the Pines Ranch, that could possibly have the same argument because they're on a community well. So I believe that the Planning Commission at the time said, well, everybody from the subdivision would have to come. They would all, we'd either change the community well, but water does come from the state. So in all due respect, the Planning Commission thought that it would be best, because they have a water decree, to go to the state and try to change it with the state because they don't want the responsibility and they thought instead of wasting, and I don't mean it derogatory, sure. 500 bucks in the Planning Commission's time, let's just do it by email. Okay, let me, let me respond to that or ask a question in response to that. $500 for what? They do not charge to meet, correct? Couldn't these guys come and present their case? Why would they be charged $500? Because they have to present the case as a, either a subdivision waiver with their subdivision. Which is what they were requesting. Exactly. And it's it's $500, $500 five to, to apply. To go to the, through the planning commission to request a subdivision waiver. Yes, it is. Can I ask this one more quick question? I know you're going to have one here. But no, how, how many worry. people said absolutely not? How many people said maybe it needs to be I researched? I didn't count them, but out of seven, out of seven, I would say five said no. The other two, Dale might have said no. He was kind of wishy washy on. I couldn't read it. It's very hard, but I would say out of seven, the maximum could be six people. So there is hope that somebody says, well, maybe we ought to think about this a little bit. No, the other one said he sure couldn't just, comment because he didn't comment. know. Yeah. This is, uh, this is terrible. I, I feel your angst and your pain. <clears throat> I just feel, based on what the Planning Commission said, that it needs to go back to the Water Court or the Water Division to determine whether it's acceptable. Yeah, I understand. Just one quick thing, you know, I'll get out of here. But don't I, you know, don't rush. We got time. do you have other subdivisions? Understanding, like Jackie says, you have other subdivisions with possibility of the same problem, and that's going to come up again. Good. Okay. Do, are you making subdivisions like our subdivision right now? And what are the regulations for it? If the well no longer can produce water for that subdivision is there a scapegoat that you guys have because we're looking at something that was done 40 years ago and our well's 40 years old if i can respond sir uh -huh. and, and please understand we understand your plight we're kind of have our hands down i think the only thing we can recommend to you is to have water brought into a cistern I, I, if the state says no that's, I don't know, and maybe Jackie knows some other alternative, you may have to have water delivered. I don't know the answer. Well, so, there's some other possibilities, but. Well, I mean, we would just use, like, if, uh, if a well goes dry for a sub, I don't know how, how even common that really is um, to have a, like a community well. But if it, if it goes out, then you technically, are you not meeting the subdivision requirements because you don't have a, a, a water source? I'm just trying to think through. We're just trying to be proactive. That's, we're just, there's a lot of red flags. So I'm, do you guys know like, no. what happens when that happens? I don't have a clue. And that's why we're asking. I just have to the state for a permit to re-drill your existing community well. No. That, no, that's that 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 is that, that, makes sense. that is one possibility. Yeah, a rancher out there right now, it's been a state requirement is on 35 acres. You can have one well, yeah. and you can pick where you want to put it. And if it dries up, it's your risk. And the only option you have is to you've got one well for me. You can put a well somewhere. You can drill deeper, mm -hmm. or you can move it to where you think it is. Out here, the reason you need them to have a special permit because it's less than 35 acres to begin right. with. You had a, a, a subdivision that was approved, and it had one decree on it for one well, mm -hmm. and the only and so the state needs to approve a different location or or a deeper well or whatever. You can apply for that and go through the court process. Uh, yeah. But if somebody wanted to drill a well on something less, that's the county uh, the zoning has has. Got you, you tied up. You, that's what you signed does, up to in the subdivision. Does anybody have a recommendation of who to talk to in the state? Because right now we're kind of 
in that it's theirs, no, it's theirs, and, and do you guys have a, a contact or anybody at the state that, because I know we've talked to Dan Hendricks, and he's hit a, he kind of hit a roadblock too. I would so. assume this was filed in Division Two Water Court. But I have well, no idea. Division Two Water Court covers our, our area, okay. so that would be the place to start. I would just call them. There's a wonderful lady there who's the clerk. I'm sure if it's not the right person, she can help you find it. I just kind of I, Jackie, think, do you have, maybe since she wasn't sure either, we would share in an instant if we had this information for you. I'm just, we're not, a, we're not against you. I understand that. I'm just trying to think, you guys have as much to know if the state's setting precedent on people that are right next to us too. Why are they getting, why are they getting permits and others? It depends on when that was applied that for and what rules they were under. Well, I know one was five years ago or less, so there's something that's not... So you run the risk. You can go apply for it on a lot, but... Well, I just would like to to know why yeah. uh, why some get and some don't, because it's not really clear right now. You pay the money. Yeah. And then you come back uh, and run the risk. Well, water's different than what... The, the, they, they don't... The zoning doesn't care. With the board's consent, I'm going to move to take about a three-minute recess uh, for this purpose, to gain some additional knowledge real quick so we can continue this conversation. So if you're willing to sure. hang out for a minute, uh, gentlemen, the motion to take a recess. I'll move we recess for ten minutes. I'll second it. Move and second to take a ten-minute recess. At the meeting, we'll come back to order. Uh, we are in the process of considering a subdivision waiver request for TV Hills. Uh, I asked for a recess to get some additional information. Uh, I think we've been provided that. Thank you, Jackie. Uh, so you're not after a special use permit. You're looking at a subdivision waiver. So we can disregard anything in here about a, a special use permit or a PUD. Uh, so subdivision, Jackie, there's four steps to that as I see this, correct? correct? Preliminary or sketch, preliminary, final, and modification. Correct. I don't understand all the inner workings of how the planning commission goes about when they decide what phase is what, who pays when, all of that. So if you can help us out with that a little bit. If these gentlemen on behalf of TV Hills 2 want to go to the Planning Commission to present their case for a subdivision waiver. Correct. So they're going to have to redo, they're going to ask for a subdivision waiver, but it, yeah. uh, in the next of this, they're redoing their subdivision. Is it TV Hills 2 and 1 you're representing, or what? Maybe. You're one Three subdivision, one. aren't you? You live in subdivision or TV. Well, that's our water, question. Correct. We'd like to know. We live in one, and does two pertain to the same regulations well, as two? We don't well, know. Yeah. Yeah. It, we're two in is one. a totally different subdivision that we haven't. I haven't looked in. I'm just okay, so in one. forget TV Hills too. So my question would be to this: I, I think we're, where this board's probably going to shake out today is we will request a meeting of the planning commission, or at least I would recommend, or I can make that motion. To, to allow you to meet with the Planning Commission. That's part of the process. As I understand it, though, that is going to cost you some money. And that's where I'm getting out with my question okay, for Jack. Okay, so we are there in TV Hills 1, which is a subdivision right. that was approved in 1977 with a water decree. We had three homeowners that are asking to drill well. Basically, they're asking to change the subdivision regulations and the subdivision approval back in 1977. So they can, yes, they're asking for a Senate Bill 35 waiver, but they're also asking to change the subdivision because three of them are in that subdivision. So they would have to go through the steps of a subdivision or they could, we could, or they could try for a Senate Bill 35 and then maybe get the same response. You're trying to change your subdivision. I guess I will reflect it back to Mr. Okay. Attorney. There's either something I don't understand or something I just disagree with what you said. I'm not sure about that. I get it that I think what they're after is a, sub, uh, a Senate Bill 35 waiver. We're referring to that as a subdivision waiver. 
Okay. I don't know that they're requesting any change in that subdivision. Well, they would be because they were approved for a water to create and community well. Okay, and they're not changing that though. They're not requesting any change to that. Yes, they are yeah. by using a private well. That's a change, correct? Uh, then that would be a water court thing, which is way above my pay grade. This whole thing is beyond your capability right. to handle mine. They really need to go talk to a good water lawyer. Yeah. And, and I mean, I know a lot of people don't want to go to that expense, but that's where they're at here. And that's probably what the three did down below is why they got approval on those three lots. Somebody had to augment the water. We dealt with a water lawyer for probably almost five years out of Colorado Springs just to be able to try to get the stuff, the mess the well was in before, and then the, we ended up with ownership of the well. So yeah, we spent five years sure. trying to do that. Well, so. uh, I, I gotta tell you that I concur with Commissioner Prince. I'm, there would have to be extenuating circumstances for me to vote against a recommendation by the Planning Commission, but here's my issue. I want to make sure the process is followed correctly. If you folks want to get before that planning commission, I think this board of commissioners will make that happen. But I think you need to understand that's going to cost you some money. Personally, that may be money down the drain without having some attorney or having some decision by a water court. Uh, I, I, that's kind of where I'm at. I agree with Commissioner Prince that, that you're probably fighting an uphill battle, uh, at least with me. Uh, without getting these questions answered. And if getting these questions answered means going to that planning commission, I, I will support requesting that, a meeting yeah, for Anybody them. has the right to go in front of that commission. They don't have to ask for permission. They can present their case and do that, which is you're more than welcome to do. Uh, but you need to, you know, and then find out what other steps you need if they uh, can waiver it or not. Uh, but it depends on the water. You, you're going to have to talk to the water court. If we talk yeah. to like a state rep, whoever that, because right now, like we said, we're kind of in that. Right. He said, she yeah. said, land. But if we get <clears throat> some sort of response from the state, and let's say they say, okay, all we need is. I don't know, whatever they need from you guys. What is that process like? Would we have to present that to the commission, or, or is that as simple as um, asking to be back on the agenda? I don't want to block On that. which agenda? This agenda? Like a commission Talk agenda? To, like, what would be the best way to... Always want to go to the commission first, you know, because you're just... All we're going to do is say, well, that sounds really good. you got a good thing. Go get some research. Go are you talking about water commission or you? Do you no, foresee... Planning commission. ...a scenario where they say, all I need is... A letter stating, okay, in scenario X, Y, Z, if this happens, if, if the county's good with it, here's your permit. If the state said that, mm -hmm. well, uh, certainly would be a consideration. I just can't imagine that ever happening because they're not going to take on that liability. I've got to ask Jackie another question real quick. Under your zoning issues, I see you have a Senate Bill 35 waiver for a $350 charge. 35 Mm -hmm. And they can go through the subdivision waiver, which is the response they had today. That's what the planning commission responded to today. Or, the, you are looking, this is not simply a subdivision waiver. This is taking an approved subdivision, TV Hills 1, and changing the rules. Oh, boy, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. So, Don't if that's it. the case, then they are doing a subdivision modification, which they'd have to do, a, they might have to do a sketch and a preliminary, but sometimes they can skip to the preliminary, Thanks. it's all up to the planning commission, and do a final. So, we're way over $500 just to modify this That's, thing. as long as they understand it, that's... That's so our only concern is that they do or don't understand the money end of it. It's not our decision to decide if it's too much or whatever, yeah. but... Um, and bounce that against root drilling that well deeper or you know, relocate or whatever and to keep your current supply. Five. I'm assuming the state your would choice. probably grant you a permit to redrill that sure well. They would. We don't know. I, I said I'm assuming. I didn't say I knew they were. I said I'm assuming they would. 
for that many homes, I can't imagine them not allowing you to drill that well deeper if that's what you wanted to do. I mean, I think anybody has the right uh, to ask them to do that. And they already have the well, it's not changing anything. If um, the whole spirit of this whole thing, for me at least, and Dad, is okay, we're trying to look down the line just a little bit and be proactive as we can be. In a scenario where that well goes out, will you guys go to bat for us with the state if we get... It is not our responsibility. See, Please forgive I, me. I know I... It is not our responsibility. Well, I, I have a hard time with... I mean, you're my, you're my dog in the fight. No, we're not. <laughs> you need to understand. What our job is like very different than that. Our job is to help you if there if you come to us and it's authorized, it meets the law, meets the spirit of the law, we will certainly I mean if you came today with a water decree and the planning commission said we see no reason here, I would almost bet my bottom dollar that the three of us unanimously would go, Great, we got it done, go do it. But we cannot take the fight for you. This is your fight. And please forgive me for saying that, but that is yes. not our responsibility. Hmm. Okay. I, uh, I don't know. I, yeah, I, I think, understand. You're I the, think council's right. You probably need to go to a water attorney, state your case, um, go to the planning commission, state your case. The planning commission may have functioned just fine. Sure. I don't know that. If I were in your position, I'd want to sit in a planning commission meeting and have the opportunity to plead my case, irregardless of whether what the money issue is. Right. That's up to you guys to decide that. Right. Uh, you may very well come out with exactly the same answer you got with them uh, meeting through email and polling each other. I don't know that. That's really sure. none of my business. I just want to make damn sure the process is afforded you so that you feel like you've been that you've had access to the process sure I appreciate that so now I'm not going to speak for water courts I'm not going to make decisions about water that's none of our business okay. we we've been we've been there done the attorney that we hired the other day made very clear that you guys it sounds like you your subdivisions are intertwined, Absolutely. twangled for some reason, and that to me, it must be somebody in charge of TV Hill too. Is there a, is there a separate homeowners association or whatever? No, it's a, when you guys yeah. buy land, it's the water you know, come transfers the rights for the water, utilities, whatever, part of the, the land transaction. Uh, if push comes to shove, how many houses are in TV Hills too? Is there a, a house on each one of those lots? About four or five. Uh, Okay, so they're already using your well. Somebody had granted them that permission, and that might have been in the original. That, that that's a homeowner's issue. See, we we don't control that, and so if you're really out for survival, you need to talk with each person involved there, that and cut your deals. We can't get into the middle of that. You know, we're not a homeowners association regulator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, that's exactly right. And homeowner, we've had people sitting right here in front of these chairs pounding on the desk about us wanting to do want something about a homeowner. Clean up. I know we're getting off on this. <laughs> Believe it or not, homeowner, that whole homeowner thing falls under the division of real estate, which is under the division of revenue. Mm -hmm. So, yes, ma'am. Okay, so what had happened, let me, let me set some so they can be clear what happened. It's $350 to ask the Planning Commission for a subdivision waiver. Okay. The Planning Commission got all of TV Hills' stuff. Instead of saying, I want $350, I said to the Planning Commission, do you want these people to come or can you make a decision based on the subdivision paperwork, the water decree, the approval for the subdivision. It's a file about this thick. They said, we can make a decision. We're not going to violate our subdivision regulations. We are not going to say that they get a subdivision waiver. So that saved you 350 bucks. But if you want to come back, I'll take the $350 and, you can, and I'll set you up a meeting and you can go back into the planning commission and ask them. If they say that you have to go through the subdivision regs, 
then I would start adding up every phase of, of that on the bottom. But that's not here or there. But you have the opportunity right now to go before the board and ask for a subdivision waiver. But when it, water is not our thing, and I agree with these two, you better go to water court and get them, because Dan Henricks is just like a water commissioner. Right. He, is he works a water for District 2. He cannot say that you get a well or you can't get a well. You have to go up above him. So it's up to you. A lot of proof. You got to prove yep. you got water and not injuring people and get engineering reports, topography, uh, you name it, to get an augmentation plan. Really, is what you're doing. Yeah, I think that's Jack hit the nail on the head right there. I, I, I'm not going to speak for all of us. I'm not prepared to vote on this today. If I did, I'd probably vote against well, you it. You weren't asking us to. Uh, right? But. Uh, we put it as a consideration, so if it did, if we did decide we wanted to vote on it, we could do it today right. and be within our right. posting notices. But so, uh, do we just need to stay in contact with Jackie? I guess I would think if you guys you know, and, and Jackie informs me that if you want to do that, then the planning commission would expect everybody from that subdivision to be in attendance. Is that you correct? You got to have concurrence. You as a group. Everybody there. Okay. So I think that's where we're at now. If okay. you want to meet with the planning commission, contact Jackie. She will make that request. They will meet, I'm sure of it, but if for some reason they don't think so, then the commission, the Board of County Commissioners can request that if that's what this commission decides to do. Okay. Yep. We'll have to hear with the other members and all that kind of stuff then and get uh, some more ducks in a row before we can even... Uh, yeah. Let so. me tell you something else. Not only you will need to bring all your subdivision property owners, but when you do file the paperwork, <clears throat> Excuse me. The surrounding neighbors are going to get a certified letter stating that you want to go off the water system and drill a private well so they can weigh in too. Saying, no, oh, you know, because that's just the way yeah. it, that our well, it's a hearing process. But just keep me in posted and we'll figure it out. Okay. And I'm but assuming. I would use my money to go to water court. I'm assuming Division 2 would make a decision if they have to go off of that community well in order to drill a private well. That is no part of what we do by the way outside of the purview of the county commissioners but that's water court stuff they may the water court may say you can stay on that well but they may say no if you're going to drill a private well then you got to get off of that community i have no idea right. how that works but no question this tv hills has been a unsettled situation down there really from the day that sub i mean you talk to those people living wetmore or the drapers forever it's always been an issue down there so mm -hmm. I hope you don't think we flip it and blowing you off. I, as Commissioner Prince said, I think we all feel your pain and understand your situation. And it's not hopeless. You know, you, you, it's a matter, a matter of all your people, however many there are, wanting to spend the money to go buy new water. It's possible. You know, it could cost a lot of money, 40 grand, 100 grand, whatever. But that's a decision you make as you go through the steps and you see what's happening. Uh, well, appreciate you guys. Okay. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. your consideration. Right. Yeah. You bet. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Sorry to oh, didn't sorry. make I don't apologize. It take a lot of time. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Meanwhile, 12 gallons an hour. Keep that cistern full. Maybe get a bigger cistern. Uh, eight keep gallons going. and state regulations 12. are just about to kill us. Is it eight now? Eight. Yeah. And a little mud. <laughs> okay. Really? According to my uh, agenda, it's up again, real quick. Uh, next item is consideration of the airport special use permit. Uh, Mr. Lynn, would you like to come back up, or? Okay. I thought we uh, uh, changed that, did we? Took that off. No, that was no. a bit. Oh, that was. I right. should have said when Jay wanted to put them in front of me. I should have said no. No, wait a minute. <laughs> you had a chance and you I didn't guess. say anything so no nope. snooze you lose that's right so you jump right. oh yeah 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 sorry again it takes again? us a minute to get reorganized <laughs> after <laughs> all right. okay all right. yeah. well you might be representing something totally different which you are actually well so, yeah, i'm glad my little world is just airport <laughs> 
Gentlemen, you have an opportunity to look at the special use permit docs that we were providing. I did the other day, and it's been a while. Of, I don't have one, yeah. but I read them last time. Is, oh, you have to I didn't have any problem with this when you went over when you were together. We will go to the FAA and get approval before we make any decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about money. Huh. I don't think that's <laughs> flipping my mark. I, feel, I really and truly feel their pain. Oh, absolutely. I really do. I mean, yeah. I feel bad for them. Yep, yep, yep. No, huh? It's all good. So, Lynn, do you remember what any significant thing you guys were uh, worried about? You know, I, really, I don't think I don't recall. I think the big, the biggest thing when Bob and I started in on it was just the wording from the, what was it, airport advisory. That was, yeah, that was the, what got it started. Yeah, that was what got it started, and then you know, it's and just then the only other thing was to include things, knowing our strategic, your strategic plan, mm -hmm. and that's planning and things that we've been going through yeah, for a, it was, an industrial stuff to have. Right, on. right. And you included it's some of it. Gotta stay airport related mm -hmm. in, in, in all regards. So, um, so no restaurants. No uh, restaurants. Uh, yeah. Is in there. But, I see your food and But you could do that in there. Through an FBO? Through the yes. FBO. Right. Do, but yeah, yeah, through an FBO or through permission from the airport board and then you guys. Yes. It could happen that way. So it's not out, but and then that would require us if you want to talk someday about that would be to sure. take the limits off that well. <laughs> but yeah, we which we don't have anything to say about that. We don't want to talk that yeah. right now. Not right. Go down that road. Not now. <laughs> not now. Talk to him about water. Yeah, let's talk water. Yeah. No, let's not. <clears throat> Other than that, I don't. Yeah, it's kind of straightforward deal, so really. So, is this a new special use permit? No. Update. It's an update. It's a revision right. of the an current update. SUP and uh, cleaning up the language and adding, right. making sure it conforms with the plans that and the airport has. Operation of the airport and future development. Yeah. Yep, yep. So, are we. Said you call your stock or you want to be back <laughs> She said she was going south. She had a uh, septic permit. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, question on number 22. Okay. Why don't call him Jackie? Um, as I understand the sign regs for the county, this is way, way above. Uh, the maximum signage, signage allowed, so. And I think that came up. I think um, she looked at this, didn't she? I yeah. remember talking to her about it. Um, and I think that was just about, was, remember when Trey was wanting to do or thinking about his glider thing? It had to do glider with signs rides. on the road as opposed to signs on the hangar. Right. He just wanted to put a big glider ride thing on his hangar. Right. What's this going to do with the existing sign at the highway now? Nothing really. 22 specifically talked about signs being installed on a building. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, if you think of, you can think about the skydiving sign that's on that big building down at Fremont. Mm -hmm. However, 22A contradicts that. Well, it doesn't contradict it, it's in addition to. It says uh, the sign for the airport will be erected at the intersection. It said sign is eight Yeah, and, and that's probably in there from before because that sign is, is a there already. That's the same so, sign yeah. that you've got. That was <clears throat> just to add a couple words and I'd be much more comfortable with okay. In the paragraph 22 at the end where it says, Sign is subject to airport approval and approved by the BOC and a sketch approved by the BOCC, that sure. kind of thing. And then we can look at it on an individual basis. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They lost. Yeah. Okay, on 22 C items. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking if we added 
approval and approval by the BOCC on a case by case basis with a rendition or something like that. And then we could just do it on a case by case basis based upon yeah. that you bring it to us. Yeah. I mean, that's just <coughs> yeah, kind of where we were at. Right? I guess my issue is not with signs that are going to be on the buildings themselves. It's it's 22A, an eight foot by 12 foot sign at the intersection of 69 to 310. Yeah, that is considerably. Well, are you contemplating replacing the sign that's there? That's that, that is the dimensions that is the that was one there. that's there. Already. Correct. Was approved before. That's why I said I think this was probably on the probably old version. Has it there? Yes, yeah. I would bet. Although when they added on the uh, Butler, Butler Field, Butler Field that right, 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 right. That's why they have the two foot thing underneath it. Okay. Okay. No, boy, there's no talk of changing that sign at all. So, but I, I'm good with. I went and I did Jay talk to her about it. Yeah, I, you know that's that's a good thing to have. Yeah, a report board approval. You approve it, then we we rubber stamp it. We could do a report change board <laughs> and BOCC approval. Right. Yeah, it would just go outside of the. Waivers of the exist, existing sign regulations that we have in the county. Right. Same with B, a mm -hmm. similar sized directory at 310 in the airport road. Directory of the. Uh, and I'm sorry, I didn't realize it would take so long and you will wait. <laughs> it's okay. I thought you were staying for the donuts, Lynn. <laughs> So I get to wait, they do. So when it, it's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. We like you guys. Lynn, you wait over here. You're right. And You're I retired, understand. right? Yeah, I'm retired right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Jay. I'm yeah, good. I, it's all right. I, it, it didn't dawn on me that I was going to put you in a bad position. <laughs> I thought we would just move them up and move on. Okay, so the, and I guess B, Tom, you're talking about is is the, a directory be like if you had some businesses out right. there. Um, right. Well, there, more than that, it was a directory of the hangers, like every one of them, from what well, was discussed, and yeah, the businesses that are located. I don't know. See, I'd be, uh, business shingled would be more what I would think yeah. that would yeah. My concern but is that they're not separate. The dimensions are right. certainly well outside of the regulations for our county. That's, that's Which one? Or uh, any of them? Any of these signs that are spoken about here. This out of the way. Well, can we cover all of it? <clears throat> A, B, and C by saying like what Jay did, the design and layout of each sign, no. each sign is subject to airport board and BOCC approval. And uh, cover, and cover the whole the shebang. County, you have to come before the board of commissioners to get a variance on our sign rates. That's right. So what? Let, let's make sure we're clear here. Okay. When a new sign comes up, if somebody had a business, they want to put a ham a sign on the end of the runway somewhere or whatever. That's a separate deal. You guys got to consider it. It's got to be going through the zoning, reg make sure it conforms, yeah. and that would be coming before us. I think this permit here is what you're trying to cover is what was currently there as well as what you immediately see a need for, like a directory. And from what I am, I'm going to call Jackie right this very minute because right. I have her cell. Yeah, and I, don't and I know that. you went through Jackie, and because I discussed some of this with her too. Mm -hmm. And let's just see, because what you're presenting to us is in an approved form that has gone through the the steps yeah, for it's, review. It's ready for your vote on. That's right. I, so unless I you want to nitpick, unless we have any questions about right. it, which, yeah. Yeah. Right. which well, is fine. fine. That's what he yeah. has to do. He needs the information to say because it's old uh, that this had gone through that, and you just shook your head mm -hmm. and said, "Jackie yeah. said she could do it." Okay, she's okay, yeah, she's on her way out there. Well, but I have her set. It's going to and, and it would be. I don't see any problem with adding the yeah, I, I No, I think that should be on there. And it would cover all of it, A, B, and C, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's the only concern I have on the yeah. I don't 
don't see any signs, Mr. Canda, going anywhere near out there by the runway. Ever. No, that's not what I meant. Yeah. I meant any could be by a hangar, could be a by the yeah. road. So I'm just saying okay. <coughs> examples. Any new request for a sign, you would immediately disapprove one by the runway. Right. The board has authority to make sure, and if it conforms with the county signage laws, you can say, okay, you can put it over here on the sign, on the mm -hmm. whatever. If it goes out of the bounds of that, then you got to come for a special uh, permit to us uh, to allow that right. to happen or not. And so I would like to clarify what, what you're presenting to us has been through the, the uh, review process with mm -hmm. the appropriate agencies within the county before you presented it to us. Unfortunately, Bob's not here, <laughs> and uh, and this happened a month ago. Right. So we don't have to vote on it today. We don't want to. No, absolutely not. We can add that until we get an answer. Those three little words Jay suggested, and uh, and try it again. Yeah. Well, so I'm okay with it with the modification. Yeah. I'm okay with it too because I remember the conversations right. on it. And and we could, I think we could approve it with that change if we chose to. Okay. Yeah, I would move to uh, accept the special use permit with the addition of the words on paragraph 22 to include subject to airport board and BOCC approval if the signs are outside of this right. yeah. of the county regulations. Is there a second? I'll second. The moon is seconded to approve the special use permit with the addition of the wording and BOCC approval if signs are uh, outside of the current county regulations. Discussion? Hearing none, Co public comment, sorry. Hearing none, we'll um, seek the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion okay, carries. so real quick. We'll make those changes and present it back to you next no. next month make, or make the change, put it in there and let us sorry, see the so copy. We just approved it. Yeah, we just approved I mean, it. You're approved. So you'll sign it's approved. Well, Give I us the hard copy. We'll expect to see those. And after. they'll sign it and stamp it. So we. Yeah. we so what we're working on is trying to get all of this stuff signed and dated okay. and a file out there so we know. Because Bob and I've been going through it and it's not signed. It's not dated. We don't have a clue. Right. So. This is what you need. You need yeah. An organization. You got it approved. Working properly, and that's what you're working on. Right. Yeah. I commend you guys. And you'll get Thank a hard you. copy back from the BOCC admin to okay. your records. Right on. All right. So, Ms. Kelly, what I've pinned in here, gentlemen, you certainly can take the exception if you want, is after the words uh, quoted airport board, I added and BOCC approval. approvals already in there, mm -hmm. comma, if the signs are in excess of the county sign regulations. If, this, if the it exceeds uh, no comma approval, yeah, no comma. If the sign dimensions, right, are outside county uh, approved, uh, so you don't even have to come are to in us excess to of the county approved. sign regulations. No. That I makes sense, Kelly. So we'll just get it typed up. Then we'll, All right. we'll sign it with the sign that typed in there. Okay. Okay. Right. Good. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I may be excused. You may. <laughs> I don't mean thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, it's good. No, I do. I feel bad. I don't know. Don't feel bad. We're good. Okay. Well, thank you. 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 Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, next item of business consideration of this tree removal on County Road 389. It's group's pleasure. Um, which, which tree is this? County Road 389. I know. Under the bridge. Although under, when we talked with Gary about 
So we'll, why do we, we have to we prove it? I thought that. we did that. I thought we did it we yesterday. We don't have to vote on this. He was going to cut it off, leave the ball there, right. so it doesn't create it's an issue. It's within his. Uh, I thought we heard to that. Yeah. But if you need to do it again. Maybe it just got put on this agenda, and we talked about and it. And we talked about it yesterday. Right. We That's put it happened. on the agenda in the event we yeah. needed to make a decision today. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we need it. And it doesn't require a motion. It's no. Just I don't think so either. We took care of it during the staff report. We didn't know we were going to do that. That's why it was on this agenda. Right. Really, it could have been deleted during the amendments. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Okay. By consent, we'll move on. Yes. Okay. Uh, any further new business? I, I, I'm going to say something that may not be all that popular, but our um, our um, emergency management officer will be leaving at the end of the day. And I think as a consummate professional, she offered to give additional time to help with the transition. I would like, I would like us to consider if Meredith is willing to, on a temporary basis, go to that office until we put a permanent person in that position and we just limp through here because in my opinion, that office the work being done there is as important or more important than what Ms. Nichols is doing for us as our admin assistant. So with her, if you approve and with her approval, because it's way beyond her job description, I would recommend that we ask her to be uh, a fill-in in that position until such time as we can fill that position in the manner that we plan on doing. I don't want that position. I don't know enough about the day-to-day -day activity there. I know it's it's important, but there's no fires going on right now. I'd have to get Meredith's input because you'd have to fill the thing. Is it is there a lot to do in those two weeks? A lot. Yeah. Um, just if Sydney's report was any indication of things that have to happen in the day-to-day, -day, and that one's that you did half. Of the things that need to be squared away. Um, one thing that I was feel kind of, and I'm just gonna say this, and just I have it because I felt kind of in the middle. In it's hard. Seat. You're sitting there and we're talking about a position that you might want to try. Exactly. So, um, what I was gonna say is, with EMPG funding, one thing that's really important is to make sure that. The money that would be spent on EM salary um, from Monday till whenever it's filled needs to be spent. Um, if it's not, then the reimbursement from EMPG is not going to be there. So, however, it won't be there in the same amount, correct? It won't be right. So, whenever the reimbursement comes in, if that money is not spent, right. Then we don't get reimbursed get that for that amount. The MPG right. grant's still in place. Right, but it's going to be lowered. Right, exactly. Yeah. They just don't cover it. Um, and there's certain ways that you could spend that. Um, I, I have to be refreshed on it, I'm not sure. But, um, but there, if Sydney's report was any indication of what needs to be done in the day to day, um, there's a lot. Then what do we do? Meanwhile, Tom can type. I can type. Can you type? No. <laughs> as as um, Miss Cindy told us, she's a consummate professional. I feel the same way about Miss Meredith. And if we say, Miss Meredith, we have this issue while you're working over there. Could you help us with this? I, and I'm not speaking for her because I think she has perfectly right to say that is not what I want to do. That is not her job description. But, and I hate to talk like I'm talking behind your back, so please forgive me. But I would 
I would request if we agree to this to say and as needed you'll help us with the things that come up here but focus on what's going on over there because that is such an important job there's so many things going on all the time I hate to see it I mean, we're looking at several weeks before. I it could suspect. be three weeks. It could be a while before we make a final uh, decision. What is what does Meredith do? The person behind the desk over there for, for uh, Donna. Is that going to be an impact? And I, I think Donna will just have to take up the slack if she can, and if not, we'll figure out. You doing a lot for? Her? Um, with Karen. <laughs> she did during the meeting. So until the bills come, vouchers are due June the 20th. So until about the 15th, it's pretty. Um, but then it takes well, hours. Um, but you could. If, if that's the one thing that's happening, and not could probably handle all the that. different sides that come through in, in, on this side, if that's the only thing you're doing. We'll get something to think about. What do you think, Tom? I can also leave the room. No, you don't have to leave. I, it just feels really awkward. <laughs> not feel and, like. and it should. And that's why I'm talking like around you. But I'm just pretending she's not there. Because <laughs> ultimately, <laughs> you know, if we agree, ultimately, the question is to come back to you. Is that something you're willing to do? And you certainly would have the right to say no, and I would not be offended. So I, I put this on the table, gentlemen, because I feel Office of Emergency Management has so much going on on a day-to-day -day basis. And even though um, Ms. Howard was so gracious to say she'll have time, she's no longer an employee. She, I mean, we may contract with her. If we pay her, it's a different story, but that was not a discussion. No, it was a transition thing I was looking at. Right, not so the job. Um, I... I feel it would be in the county's best interest if Meredith was willing to take on multiple roles. Um, I feel it would be in our best interest. And how do we bring the new admin up to speed? Yeah. Meredith's going to have to volunteer to come back. Have to come help us. What can I tell you? I guess my question would be why don't we just contract Cindy Howard on a hourly basis to do the work? Can we get somebody to do it wouldn't be any extra money if the money had already been paying. budgeted. What if she just stays in the slot? Well, well that would be so up to her. She wanted money. to get out of the job for a reason. Well, she didn't sound like she, she said she'd be willing to help out a couple of days a week. I'm yeah. not sure. For the rest of the month, she said. Until through the end maybe of the month, a we could contract a week, her for three days a week or something, maybe. That's an option. Yeah. It is additional money because as of the end of today, that seller is no longer being paid, and if we well, contract with her, there will be an additional payment. So I take exception to that's already budgeted. Would budget part's correct, but that's it would be an additional expense. Yeah. I was had to do it. Well, I, I don't, don't disagree. We save a few bucks because I'm not going to pay for it now. But. Angie has a comment. It's Let's see here. Today is the seventh. The deadline on our job apps was the seventeenth. Is that correct? Friday the twenty-first. Twenty-first. Two weeks, and then there's going to be a week's worth of stuff. As soon as we get it in, be right after the fourth of July, potentially. I'm just looking out for the county's best interest is what I'm looking out for. Uh, we don't meet again until 19. That's in San Isabel, I think. Another question I'll bring. Your ads you. haven't gone in yet. Ma'am? Your ads haven't gone in yet. What is that? Have if you want to the... change the date. Oh. Uh, obviously, we're in discussion, general discussion here. There's no motion on the floor. My initial thought is if we don't 
think that office can sit empty for a couple weeks, then I would suggest that we look at contracting Cindy to come in a couple days of a, a week and deal with whatever. Uh, with all due respect to Commissioner Prince and to Miss Meredith, it is a little awkward. I get that. Uh, I think we'd be asking her to do some stuff that's certainly outside of her job description. She may be willing to do that. That's not the point, whether she's willing or not. But um, it's certainly not what we're paying her to do. Uh, and I go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Let me interrupt. I apologize. Very rude. And that's why I said since it would be outside the scope. I added several times with her approval, right. and I even said, if she said no, I would certainly respect that answer. Mm -hmm. Does that put her or us in, this is just a question, in the process of uh, putting somebody in there, a leg up on the application you know, from somebody else's point of view? That is the case with uh, I think we would make, once we get the applications, um, I mean, if a shining star Legally. walks in here and, you know, we feel it's a better, we go, Mary, thank you so much for filling in. You I don't want to that. I mean, that's a decision will be made once we have the facts. We don't have the facts. At this no, that's not what I meant. I made a quick phone call to get some additional information. If she was selected and we are open for a complete by some person other person hour like we had rate. before. Uh, are we at some I kind of jeopardy you're talking about or possibly position ahead of time? With her or someone else to do that job till we get I uh, think your point's well taken. Um, if someone is doing it on an interim basis, well, is it hurt. easier to right. make them into a permanent well, basis? Yeah. Wouldn't be the end of the world. It probably it is no but limited if we have it. But Mary says she depends on who the candidate so or whether right. that's a, the move we would yeah. make or not. Yeah. There's nothing illegal about somebody having. No, it's true. Sure it's a, it's and, and a lot of people right. sit in as an Put acting director or something. With your leg up. Uh, Not necessarily get the job. Is that how many hours <laughs> is that, Meredith? What's that calculate? One thousand. Uh, one thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight twenty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Um. I like the idea of, we probably ought to see, but we don't have time, but we'd have to call, we'd have to make phone calls or something, if Cindy would be willing to fill in. She is willing. She's indicated that to me, and she's indicated that to this board twice. She said it this morning. To be paid, so I think she's willing to do it for gratis for a couple of weeks, but if she's paid to continue, would she be willing to do it full time for a week? Well, I don't, you know, I don't know. Well, Personally, I don't think we need full time. I, but I don't either. Maybe uh, half time or something to offer. But do you think she'll take it? She did. She said this morning specifically she, would, she wouldn't do full time. Right. But that she, for personal right. reasons, but she could do two or three days a week. Yeah. At, through the end of the month right. is what she said this morning. I think we ought to formalize that first. Thank you for bringing the topic up, Jay. We were about to adjourn this meeting, and that would have gone undealt with yep. until the night. That's right, and we be, we wouldn't be able to deal. I'm very concerned about this office. So, uh, if we think, uh, I think half time or whatever that equals what she's is probably will will meet the mail for now for two weeks. We can do that. Um, let Cindy continue. Well, I would move we offer her. Uh, a contract position, her being Cindy Howard, sorry, uh, for two days a week until we get the job uh, position filled. At the rate of $33.80 an hour, which is her, was her current salary. Is there a second? I'll second it. Talk then we've been seconded to offer Cindy Howard a contract position for two days a week at the rate of $33.80 an hour to keep, uh, obviously, to keep the office functioning until we hire a replacement discussion. Okay, and so if, you know, I'll go along with what Jay said, if it is more, 
then, then I would, we could also include using Meredith as part of the backup for that, because that allows some flexibility for Meredith as well. Uh, is that an amendment, sir? Well, maybe. I'm, I'm throwing it out as discussion. Okay. To think about it. Because um, I don't want to just make it black and white. This is it, two days a week. The rest of three days, O and M can go pound sand. Okay. So, what do you think? Can I make a suggestion? Isn't she over in her office? Uh, I would guess probably. Uh, Why don't you call her over here and ask? Ask her what? How much time it's going to take? If she can do it on two days a week? If she needs help? If. Go ahead, sir. I'm going to respond to the motion. Um, I, I'm not in favor of it because, because not that she's not the right person to do it, whether it's Meredith or Cindy. That is, that is irrespective of my, I want the position covered. My real question is, arbitrarily, two days a week was just thrown out. I don't know if two days is enough. That's why and, I was adding Meredith to the next. I don't want to make my comment on this and kill okay. and, and your comment was excellent. When you said it, I said, yeah, that would be good, but now we have two people in the same job on different times. One, there's no continuity. If Cindy's work out something for two days, she's gone. Merit needs to walk in and go, oh, well, what did she do in those two days? So then the continuity issue is a concern to me. I, I think... Um, uh, Ms. Kelly's concern or this comment is excellent. Um, I am just concerned that we don't just leave this door open with no one there on a position that I feel is extremely, extremely important. And I've said it multiple times and it's surely how I say to me calling her and asking yep. that question. I'm fine with that. You're a holdover in this If she has a minute to come over and talk about it, I think that would be wonderful. All right, so I'm going to get the other donut for you guys. Let's take, let's take a little break. Hey, we have, I'm, we stand have up. priorities in this world. And that is I want a patriotic and, donut. And sir, if donut you're donut. doing that, I know. can I talk you into getting yeah. a little money? Thank you, sir. Thank Just you. a little bit. All right. Because hopefully we're going to uh, We're considering a motion to actually to be the next on the table to minutes. offer you a contract for a couple of days a week to get us through until we hire a replacement. The deadline for the applications is June 21, so we're looking at that for two weeks. Uh, the motion is two days a week. The question is, is that enough, or would you feel like whoever we offered a contract to would need to be more than two days a week? Um, I think I circumstances that we'd have to meet and make a determination about that. I think your point about two days a week versus 16 hours a week is legitimate. I hadn't considered that. Uh, in my opinion, I don't really care. I, you know, if you would, in this interim period, or whoever we offer a contract to, I think it would behoove us to ask to record your times of when you did work uh, or someone else would specifically but yeah. it's going to be mandatory by the grant anyway it would have to be turned in um, I don't know that it would necessarily be reimbursed as a staffing change because it's not salary but if you just shorted you know my monthly check figured it out with Donna to put it on the check that might work too I don't want to you know shortchange it on the EMPG grant 
grand right. um, to change me from salary to, to hourly. But either way, I think I would cover it. You have 9000 in the budget as contract labor. Um, right. Yeah. But yeah, I do have to, regardless, I have to keep track of my hours. Sure. Even though I'm exempt for the state, it's mandatory. Okay. Whether it's you or anyone else, do you feel yeah. we'd be reasonable at 16 hours a week? for contract labor to keep us above water until we find a replacement. Yeah, I do. I think that'd be fine. All right. Mention the hourly wage, I think. Uh, yeah, the hourly wage, uh, $33.80, was just an extended out uh, from your salary to an hourly rate. So uh, yeah, right now, that's what the, that. the motion on the table is to offer you a, a a contract at $33.80 an hour and I will by consent change that from two days a week to 16 hours or I can amend it. So I like the 16 hours better. Uh, so it would be 16 hours uh, at your determination. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. All right. I'll let you know. Bye. There you go. Uh, thank you for that point. Kelly, Kelly, uh, what about calling her? Uh, so, further discussion on the motion. Public comment. Go ahead. So my only comment was, and Cindy did cover it, is if there is um, something they need to go back, right. whether it's Meredith or whatever, you know, they're going to be spending extra hours. That would be more than. Certainly, if there was an incident, I would think the first thing we do is every call on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do it all. To be executed. <laughs> We're bad enough, obviously. Uh, author a disaster deck and move on. But yeah, <coughs> if there's anything that changes other than that, I would assume we would agree to meet and, and call a special meeting. Which is a great question I've been meaning to ask about the 24 hour notice. Can we call a special meeting under 24 hours? Yes. <coughs> it's, okay. If it's an emergency, you can. Okay. And then you ratify whatever you've done, your special meeting at the next regular public meeting. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Further discussion? Hearing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor of offering Cindy Howard a contract at 16 hours a week at the rate of $33.80 an hour to keep the OEM office open until we find a replacement. Say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Public comment? Yes, ma'am. Well, because you zoomed past the vote so quickly earlier and that you didn't ask for public comment. On which vote? The San Isabel thing. Um, uh, that was not under new business nor unfinished business, so there's no public comment. I see. Go ahead. Um, you vote, as I recall, when she was in here, she had three options. One, that you wouldn't play at all. Second, that you would be the fiscal agent, and the third, that you would partner right. with them. And that would include a certain number of hours of you guys um, that would be in kind uh, for the grant. Um, which did you do? We agreed if they requested to become their fiscal agent. So the whole in kind hours thing was not included in I'm that I'm looking vote. that up right now. It's so if you just give me a second. Hmm. Uh, I thought that the the twenty or nineteen hundred dollar prorated uh, hours were included in that grant, even if we were the fiscal agent. Uh, but I'm having a hard time getting my hands on Donna it right now. Because Donna did mention now. the the hours. Um, I I just felt like there wasn't very much clarification on how that would be done. 
and how much you'd be obligated to do if, you know, if one of you went instead of three of you, did that leave extra hours that you had to put in? And I was just unclear on that. Right. Yeah, well, the only thing we voted on today was if they requested we would be the fiscal agent. That's that was the motion so and then we don't know what that i cannot that. find okay so i'll clear. just state that it was unclear about that the the other item well i'm looking i just cannot get here maybe this is it piece of that like the broadband was a fiscal agent was what they were trying to get us to be the sponsor for the grant it, it, it also came along with some uh, work we had to perform which but, was the main I did not agree we didn't sign to be a sponsor of the grant I know I agree well, to be the fiscal agent but that's why she wanted us on there is to have the county that that was the whole discussion we had there was a second grant that she was talking about at the same time. It was an 80,040 go cost and 40 from right. CWCB. And that one we worked on, right? But I, can't find find where she, I don't see in there where she I, out the I, I don't know. In there. Well, maybe I'm confused. That was why I wanted them as cool. We needed to have yeah. them. Yeah, I'm sure she consider. will. I thought we well. Did we ask you to put her on the agenda for the? No, no only if she came not. back asking. Because uh, I'm assuming that she was wanting to come back, so maybe we should put her she on. She was going to do agenda. some. She was going to do, do some, some more research. We'll see or something if she can get it done without yeah, us. Yeah, and come back. I thought. Yes, ma'am. My thing, my understanding was when she came up with the hours, in kind of hours. That was it. All three of you went and put in the hours, and then you guys discussed that probably just one of you would be representative. 
So that would cut down then on the hours because it wouldn't be times three. So I think the real question is, are we a partner? That's why I know what we're right. signing. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. Or are we just exactly. the, the, as a fiscal the agent, agent what are the liabilities? Right now we're the fiscal agent. Yeah. That's all you we just don't want to obligate so yourself to things that you can't do. What her request is. So would you put her on the agenda, San Isabel Land Trust? Uh, for what? For the 19th uh, discussion of the GOCO grant for lack of. So I will put down that it's your understanding that you voted on being the fiscal agent only for the GOCO grant that at this point. Sort of like if kids they counsel. ask. I, I agree with if, that. Kids if council, we, if they to request pass us to be okay. the fiscal agent, we have voted to do that. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that was exactly what the motion was. Yeah. Two. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I have something. Go ahead. <laughs> Through Meredith. So that figure of 3380 yes. that she gave you mm -hmm. included. Um, it included benefits. Right. Benefits. Okay. So on so a contract, no it's benefits. Twenty-seven thirteen. Okay. Twenty-seven thirteen. I will meet with her this afternoon. Um, so before we adjourn, then, so gentlemen. Do we need to yes, we do. Need to amend that motion. Uh, no, can't amend it after it's been approved. We send it and redo it. Uh, that's technically will have to happen. Well, I better talk to her and be sure that she's okay with that. But at the next meeting, you it's can $5. make another motion to rescind this one. Yeah. What is it? Five bucks less? What is it exactly? No. Yes. Whatever. Twenty seven. How much money are we talking yeah. about? Five dollars. About five. Five times sixteen a day. Yeah. And we could. Eighty dollars. Technically, that's, it doesn't that's matter. Clint's tip. I appreciate yeah. the fact that I, <laughs> I knew that 1080 was including, but I didn't think about that. So we can either choose to pay her this, or we can choose to pay her five dollars an hour less. Here's what I think. She is doing us a voted tremendous to do it. Favor. I just leave her alone. That's exactly what I'm going to say. She she's doing us a favor. She was a consummate professional. She said she'd do it for free. We came to her and said, "Let us pay you." I have absolutely no issue with five dollars extra now, but that's not personal. Opinion. Nor do I. So well, my consensus. Uh, but alone. your but information is appreciated because I is very, is very well taken. Now that we've discussed it, I feel it's okay. okay. Personally. Yeah, yeah, I agree. By consent, then, gentlemen, I'm assuming we're unless somebody wants to make a motion. Otherwise, no. Further public comment. Thank you for that. Yes, sir. By golly. Oh, I just uh, was, I was sitting here thinking, in case there is some kind of an incident where we need to send Meredith over there to help out, I'm willing to volunteer to fill in for her because, as far as I can tell, her job is making coffee and keeping that candy dish filled. And I'm <laughs> hey, really that's good. Not at, a problem. I'm really good at doing it. Just eat all the candy. <laughs> that's yeah. the idea. <laughs> Well, before you make that offer, sir, I want you to know that it's not only making the coffee and dealing with, you got to pay for both of those. And I second that motion. Yeah, but it's receipt padded. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Uh, and Very then you well could done. be back there being eye candy for that. I, I could, right. I could. And yes, of course, they all be turning their chairs around looking that and way. And ignoring. <laughs> yeah, got it. Uh, just a quick update to gentlemen. I have not forgotten that I had committed to deal with a table. Uh, that's still in the works. I won't go off the deep end without further informing you, but the plan was still to kind of do a U-shape and move these two further back towards the candy dish a little bit and still be able to open and close the door. So, still in the works. I haven't forgotten. Move it back far enough where I can actually just reach the candy dish. <laughs> <laughs> Further public comment? Chair would entertain a motion to adjourn. Right, we adjourn. Second. We move to second and to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries on a two aye and one abstain.